Welcome back to Let's Try Roleplay. This is the finale of The Great Games. I'm James, and I've been your Jedi Master. Joining me is Connor, who played the wise Tokrin Raldegos, Henry, who's played the daring Uma Nakatima, and Robin, who's played the determined Luna Erebos. Previously on Let's Try Roleplay, an ambush prevented. Upon finding a room of dismembered bodies, a discovered communication device reveals that none other than Cad Bane has set a trap for our heroes. Although apparently thwarted by some unknown assailant, Luna, Tokren, and Uma feel no relief as it is revealed that Bane has been working with Hondo the entire time and that they have abandoned the end of the great games, using the ensuing confusion to make their escape with Wayne. In their rush to stop Wayne from being handed over to the Empire, our heroes narrowly escape a fiery demise when Kip and Banner heroically crash their ship into that of an oncoming starship. Arriving back on Eunice, Luna rushes to Wayne's aid, only to find that Nurgle has held the line and saved him from the grasps of Hondo's men. Tokrin and Woody have less luck in the communications tower, which gives Woody quite the shock. Now all together, Luna, Tokrin, Wayne, Kip, and Nurgle race to the aid of Uma and Banner as they hunt down the slippery Hondo Onaka. Okay, Uma, you're in the room. Are you going to wait for the other guys to no. arrive and come? Or are you going to go straight ahead? Going straight ahead. Okay, okay. So, what we're going to do is... So, so you, you run ahead into the room. Yes. After this... Sprinting forward. Okay. Banner by my side. Yeah, okay. So, there's a, there's a short... Stumbling by your side. <laughs> Let's be no. honest. He, he kind of just leans forward and perpetually falls forward. Like... <laughs> So you run through this uh, door doorway in the trap room into this uh, short corridor. Again, there's nothing on either side of the walls, just another door at the end of the room, yeah. at the end of the corridor. When you make it through that door, you enter this slightly larger room. It's it's a circle, mm -hmm. and at the other side of it, side of it, you can see what appears to be some sort of like throne, mm -hmm. but it's facing the other way. Yeah, and around the room, you can see lots of like odd bits and bobs of treasures mm -hmm. it obviously seems that this is some sort of treasure room or vault i guess yes. but it's you can see you you would have expected there to be a lot more in a room of this size mm -hmm. it seems a lot of it has gone yeah and there's odd bits and bobs left all over the place um on the other side of the room you hear a voice go welcome to my vault i, th uh, I mean it's pretty empty i thought you'd have more it's it's on my ship. Where? Why would you put it on your ship? We are evacuating. The games are over. Right. Yes, you ended them early and uh, tried to have us killed. Look, I was hoping you would overlook this. I um, <laughs> have I you, gave you a chance. Have you met me? I, uh, briefly, yes, I think no, we do, have. Do you think I'm the kind of person that would overlook somebody trying to kill me like I that? I have no idea. Perhaps we should get drinks sometime and discuss Sounds it. good. Why don't you come over here? I've got some... I think uh, my Wookiee no, no. here has some drinks I'm on him. I'm quite good over here. I think... Uh, <laughs> I think uh, you could, could, the entire time, by the way, I'm slowly walking towards the uh, <laughs> Slowly walking towards the throne. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, no, no, no. I'm, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy. Um, you and your friend can stay right there. Uh, do you, oh, you should, but we, I thought we were friends. Uh, yes, um, but uh, first those drinks, how about uh, that? Yes? I would like to be, uh, I basically want to try and distract him long enough that I can get close enough that within, I basically want to try and get into like medium distance to the throne. Medium distance would be sort of like, so this room's probably long distance at max, medium distance would probably be a halfway through the room. Yeah, I want to try and like distract him long, like keep him talking mm -hmm. for Give long me... enough to get him to talk. And I was wondering yeah, so if I could use like my like a charm or something, like a charm or something. That's mm -hmm. that's pretty much what I was thinking. So we're going to contest it against his yeah. charm. Yeah. What's his charm? Probably really low, because uh, he's totally not good with his words. This is Hondo and Aka. I know. Um, <laughs> what's his charm? What's what's his what's his what's he, how's he looking? Uh, you're going to roll against 
Two reds, two purples. Two reds, two purples. That's doable. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've got an okay charm. <clears throat> oh. 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 <laughs> that is uh, in, in total um, a advantage. A, <laughs> I love how you started with that. An advantage, two failures, and a critical failure. And a critical failure. You so, what positively. exactly was your plan here? To distract him long enough to get up close? Just to keep him chatting. Okay. You actually start to get. Okay, so the critical failure here is that the sound of the, the idea of drinks with on- Onaka actually doesn't sound that bad. All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is the, okay. I mean, he's a good guy. <laughs> kind of. Um, really. uh, so you're actually sort of like, you kind of almost, you get to sort of medium range, but you then stop yourself mm-hmm. and actually get a bit more involved in the conversation. Maybe, maybe I start to think, oh no, maybe, maybe we can actually de- like diplomatize our way out of this. Diplomatize. Diplomatize. Like that. That and is then a word. also in the in the um, in the background, Banner's being a bit distracted, and you hear this massive crash mm-hmm. as like a bunch of shit falls off a load of shells, and like he's like, <laughs> Banner, oh no. Mm. And then he takes another flask out of his bag <laughs> and takes a swig. And roll a d10 for me. Okay. Three. Oh god. Three. Three. <laughs> what? What's up with Banner? You, you watch as Banner panics for a little bit, takes a drink, and then just collapses to the ground. Oh, God. He's a very drunk And you just see as he, he just looks up at you and then just starts to drag himself with his arms <laughs> to the ground as he's lost the use of his legs for 15 minutes. <sighs> oh, no. How many rounds of combat is that? That's a lot. Quite a lot. <laughs> that's, Keep that's... him talking for 15 minutes. <laughs> you yeah. haven't been going for 15 minutes. <laughs> but um, Onaka's just like, look, uh, you know, I see why you're annoyed, but... um. Look, you take wine, we call it even. Now we take some money as well. Look, uh, you know, look, I um, I have packed up my ship. It is full. Uh, anything in this room you want is yours. How much is there in the room? Um, you guys are probably certain that there's around. If you were to able to sell it and get it, transport it, around thirty thousand credits worth of stuff in this room. You know, Hondo, you drive a hard bargain. Um. <laughs> But I, uh, I, I, I think. Mm. Wait, what would Tokrin do? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of turn around. I was like, I think he would. Um... No, I would do what Tokrin's doing at the moment. Tokrin's a man. I turn back like, Ondo, I accept. Oh, good. Okay. Good stuff. Good. And then the throne turns around, and you see the blue hologram of Honda going. Because I am about uh, five light years away. Um, right. Have a good day. <laughs> well, I mean, cool. This is all. This is all mine. Banner, how much do you think? We probably can't carry much now. So um, at this point, Hondo has made his escape, having distracted you for just long enough to get into his ship. Mm-hmm. The computers were down at the time that he made his escape and managed to get to hyperspace oh, before you had this conversation yeah. with him. The door at the back of the room closes. Mm-hmm. And a figure near the throne drops from the ceiling. And you hear boss battle music. He rises up, <laughs> and his trench coat touching the floor, and goes, <laughs> I will not be so easy to persuade. Uh, and who are you? You are faced by <laughs> Cad Bane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he pulls two blasters from his side and opens fire on you. That's so we're going to jump to Luna and Tokrin as they, as they approach you now. Luna, what were you doing on the way up? So... <clears throat> So broken from the prison. Yep, we got him out. I'll be like, right, we, Uma can't trust him to do this shit in his own. God knows Rude. what's gonna happen. So you, you would feel the same. I'm very responsible. Thank <laughs> you very much. I'm. I gained conflict. I gained light side points at some point. Thank you. <laughs> um. Anyways. So yeah. So I'll say taking Wayne and Nurgle and going to towards Uma. See what the stitch is. On the way, I'd like to get try and loot the body to see if you can get way in any sort of like guns and stuff. Okay, okay. So because he's kind of a bit of a liability at the moment. Yeah. So when you get Wayne out, um, you you start sort of rummaging through the bodies, but actually he tells you to no, no, come with me, and he 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 leads you down the corridor to a room where they store a lot of the belongings of the people that are Ooh. in the prison. 
And he goes up to a small chest and opens it, and you see the belongings of Wayne. You see a long trench coat that you recognise. It's almost got like it's got a curved the back of it near the near where near where it meets the ground has like a curved bit where it meets two points, kind of like tails on the back of a tuck sort of thing. But it, they, I mean, it goes all, all it, the the tips of them almost touch the ground as he walks around, and it's in this like dark red color. Mm-hmm. And he has um, two blasters that he put he puts on this holster and puts on both of his sides. Mm-hmm. Um, and he also pulls out a vibro knife that mm. you recognize. And next to it is a small device that he attaches to his hand. Mm-hmm. And then he leaves the knife in the, in the container and then he clicks a button on the side and the, the device on his hand glows blue and it jumps into his hand. That's cool. That's pretty that cool. Yeah. The last thing he pulls out of the box is this hat. Um, like a three-point hat, kind of like what Jackson, Captain Jack Sparrow has. <laughs> and he pops it on his head. And then he, with all of his armaments ready, he looks at you and just goes, I'm ready. <laughs> um, so yeah, before we leave, um, I want to say, like, look, what you know is important that it's, com- it's completely turned what's happening at the moment on its edge we've no idea what's happened we don't know what who now what, you told me we're killing Cad Bane we are and ki- possibly Hondo possibly possibly but but whatever you know you don't need to tell me now but it is crucial that you what survive that you oh my god oh shit yes yeah that's the reason I'm here yes it's crucial that you survive this and that you get out of this and that you contact the rebellion in case shit hits the fan because what we were told was that they were going to give you over to the empire which is why we're here. Mm-hmm. Therefore, I want to give him my invisible thing. Stick it on him. You're taking this. You're not. I'm not taking it off you. This will turn you invisible. If shit Butch. is hitting the fan and it's going really badly, you need to get out and you need to stay invisible and just get yourself away from this. You get on the eclipse and you fuck off. Sounds like a plan. Good. The eclipse. Oh yeah, you put it. Oh yeah, shit. Nice. Yeah. Did you fix it? Yes. She was she, she, she's, she, she's, in, she's, she's in better shape than what you left her. She's just nice. doing well. She's doing good. She looks great. Sounds good. She looks great. No, I, yeah, I really appreciate this. Cool. Um, let's go kill Cat Bane. So, <laughs> that's the plan. So, so where are we going? To the throne room. <laughs> okay, so you guys, so you guys head up to the throne room. Tokrin, are you heading down to the throne room as well? Yes. Yeah, so what? What? Literally, what? What's just happened? For you, what's just happened is that um, you made contact with Uma briefly when all of you were talking, mm. and you're aware that Uma was about to go into the into the room. So basically, the time it would take you guys to get down to the throne room is the conversation that he has had with Uma, with with, with um, Hondo, and uh, if by the time you get to the throne room, oh, Cad okay. Bane will just have dropped from the ceiling. Okay, right, cool. So yeah, no, so in that time. <clears throat> That I've hung up on the call to Uma, just turn around to Woody and Kip and be like, uh, Kip, you know where you're where in this place? To be honest, I don't really remember where we are. <laughs> uh, w- Woody, you good again? You got you got the map for this place? You managed to get that from the computer? No? I, I, I don't know which, whether you had it already, no? Right, do you know Woody what? Woody says, where are we? Oh. oh. How's your? Can I go over and just? Aren't we make... gonna go find Wayne? The rebellion said we could. Oh. How? Can I go over and make a mechanics check and just see it? Just check his very, memory. Yeah, very quick. His memory. It's hands. one easy. It's easy. It's yeah. Cool. <coughs> oh, my baby boy. I mean, to be fair. I mean. What the fuck? So, I have got four advantages. Yeah, it's enough to tell. I mean, you have the mechanical thing, which gives you clean slate mechanics. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you, um, yeah, he, he's lost the memory, basically, of this mission. Oh, okay. Uh, do you know what, Kip? That's all right. Let's go. And we're, Whatever you so, say. So, yeah, we're going to go kill this guy that called... That also means uh, that any beef any of you have had with Woody at all over this campaign has just been white clean. Uh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Woody, I, I'm going to break this to you. You have grenades in your head. What did you? <laughs> tell- ha- he looks at you and goes, what happened to my head? Because he's not got grenades in his head anymore. Half of his head has been welded back together by you. Yeah, he used to have grenades crash. in his head. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot about that bit. 
Uh, I'll tell you, you when you're old enough. Through the force, you know, hear. Sounds good. <laughs> through the force, you hear. Don't tell him it was me. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. Uh. Yeah. Let's. Well. Let's go down. I think I know where the throne room is, and we'll make it up from there. Okay. So you guys get down to the throne. You as you run in, you meet up with Luna, um, N- Nurgle, and Wayne. As you enter. Cool. Ah, uh, Nurgle. Uh, taste for blood now. Nurgle runs up with his big gun and goes. Ah, uh, yes. It's satisfying. All right. Okay. Luna, you all right? Doing well. Doing Five well. years with my wife, I've never felt this good. <laughs> I have nothing against married or married, pe- married people. I don't know why this is. No, it's no, it's you're embodying Nurgle. He does. Yeah, and I've never I've never experienced poor marriage. My family is very happy. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for all of us who have really like shitty parent back and groins, we all have... Yeah, this yeah we all have very good families. <laughs> yeah, we're all, we're all very happy. <laughs> but anyway... Um, Yes, he said it was behind the throne. I believe Hondo yeah. has a secret yeah, entrance that right. way. Okay, no, we'll head cool. that way. And I, t- I also turned to Wayne. He's like, uh, Wayne, yeah, you look like shit, my man. Let's go. I feel like shit too. Let's go. <laughs> so you guys run to the back of the um, throne room where you find an open door into the room with a pedestal and a button. On the other side of that room is another open door. Uh, so yeah, I... Uh... Uma told me that's when we just ran straight through. Yeah? Cool? We yeah. Just, well, he's mm-hmm. talking, just running straight through. Okay, so you all run straight through. Please, somebody throw, neg- uh, throw me a negotiation check to stop Kip from pressing the button. Uh, Who's got the best negotiation? I've only got two greens. You, you, have you a, stole my green. If you also I've have got a three. threatening thing, I'll let you use that. I've got a good negotiation. <laughs> I've got, I've, oh, what, am I, what am I rolling against? Uh, two purple. Two purple. Can I do your charm? <laughs> yeah, oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, that's true. He just turned to Kip, just like, hey Kip, don't <coughs> press it. Hey Kip, I've got a button you can push if you don't push that one. <laughs> <laughs> take him back. You just take him back to the to the uh, um, the ship and it's just a button that you have for Uma to press when he wants to press a button. But you let him. No, it's I a t- button that turns off Barney. No, <laughs> I, I, I took that to be my gun. I was like, I have a button I'm going to press if you press that button. <laughs> but he doesn't, he, yeah, yeah, uh, he doesn't take it. Kip's Kep, like, oh my god, I'm getting, I'm getting some later. Okay, <laughs> but, right. Three uh, successes and one advantage. Three successes and one advantage. To charm you manage, him to not press the button. You see that Kip is sort of, as you roll run through the door, you see that Kip has sort of left himself behind and he's got his hand over the button and then you're like, Kip! Fucking Kip! <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, okay, no button, right. Let's do this! And he runs on after you. So you guys make it to the end of the corridor and there is a locked door there, shut door. At this point, we'll transfer back over to Uma. So in the room... Uma, you're facing off now against Cad Bane with a legless, a legless Wookiee. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me At a... At least it's him that's legless cool this time and not like you. Uh, I, uh, you rolled one in we rolled one in yep. preparation. I got two advantages and two successes on it. Brilliant. Okay. So you're going to go higher than Cad in the initiative. Ooh. And we'll put you guys into the initiative if and when you get into the room. Cool. Sick. Mmm... It seems a bit much that there's going to be like, how many of us? Nurgle, me, Wayne. There's quite a by, lot by of time, us. By the time you get through the door, they'll either be him dead or me dead. So. <laughs> I, funny, I have a funny feeling the odds are going to be um, the, they're going to be equalised a little bit at some point. Uma, Cat Bane is at medium range to you. What would you like to do? I would like to manoeuvre, manoeuvre and hit him with my sword. Please do so. Cool. I mean, it is a good move. Please roll it against three black. Three black? Ha! You mean red? Three black. Three black. On a, a, so it's two purple and three black. All oh, right, cool, 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 cool. I like to take a black, and I also need two more yellows. Mm-hmm. Jesus, man! Cool. Oh, so oh, that's they good cancel shit. out. They cancel out. That turns into that. So that totals a critical hit and a hit. Nice. Okay. So you're going to deal how much damage to him flat out first? Two uh, plus how much damage uh, is 10 damage with pierce 3 now because I damaged my indestructible blade. Pierce 3, okay. Yep. That's saltiness. I damaged my indestructible. <coughs> Dude, he used the destiny point. You yeah. can do what you fucking want when you cool. burn a destiny point. Yeah. So. And then I roll my crit. You roll your crit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Please roll the d100. That is 88 plus, plus your uh, 3, so that is 113. 113? He Shit. dies. You win. 
Okay, no, that's fine. He is temporarily lame. So he oh, this this, this fight he will not be able to use more than one maneuver. Sick. Ooh. That's probably quite useful. Yes, yeah, that's really really helpful. Yeah. So you and remind me of that if I try and do it. Will do. <laughs> um, that brings it round to his turn. Uh huh. He backs up away from you and jumps into the air. Two jet um, jets of flame appear from below his feet, and mm-hmm. he jetpacks it to long range high in the sky above you. <laughs> well, I'm going to have a jetpack battle. <laughs> Oh, he cool. then um, attempts to aim at you mm-hmm. and fire his weapon. Is he aiming in rules terms or no? No, no, no. Cool, because no, no. be that, that, that would be two maneuvers. No, no, no. I'm going to yeah. jetpack battle and jetpack battle and jetpack battle and jetpack battle. I'm going to shoot his jetpack. He is at long range and has no scope to benefit him there. Mm-hmm. Mm. I also have defense one. One, so he has no scope because he's just he's a complete rookie he doesn't really need a scope on your guns pansy it's just useless isn't it yeah. he doesn't know what he's doing amateur amateur R right here mm. with Cad Bean he hits you Aww. oh god <laughs> that's a lot of trash talk <laughs> <laughs> he hits you and deals no, he no. deals 11 damage to you but that's your right. soak will take all yeah. of it um, I take 5 right he then he also got a threat Mm-hmm. That threat in game works like this. He, his jet boots mm-hmm. disengage and he falls to the ground, suffering cool. an extra wound. Okay. As he does that, he crashes into some um, of the belongings of Hondo that have mm-hmm. been left behind, and a box opens and you see something roll out of it. He picks it up. Back to you guys outside of the room. How is this bad for him? Oh, so I'm going to flip a destiny point for this as well. Um, so you can have an extra destiny point uh, but it's kind of bad for him because he takes the wound um, but also it's something that I want to work in cool. okay, okay so we're currently at a locked door yeah uh, can I just look at Nurgle and be like can you shoot that down please huh can you shoot that door down um, I don't see why not Nurgle <laughs> and he starts like just firing and trying to like aim it and like just get it around the edge of the door and it goes a bit awry at the top right corner and he's getting like a bit of a circle and it's going a bit oh into the wall a little bit oh fuck back on the door right okay yeah. <laughs> down a little bit right mm. <laughs> click 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 oh fuck and then he he puts down his gun and goes oh fuck doors open and he kicks the door and it goes ka-chunk inside you see as you enter this room you see this scene Uma is is stood with his sword at the ready Behind him on the floor lies Banner, who is <laughs> desperately trying to get into his bag to have another drink. Who is mortally wounded. Oh, no, he's just no, just drunk. He's just drunk as fuck. <laughs> um, on the other side of the room, you see Cad Bane. Bane of our up. lives. Yeah. yeah. Picking himself up, having like presumably fallen into this mm. pile of what appears to be trash in this room. It's lots of trinkets and all this sort of stuff. As you run in, you guys are now all in the room and you've just about seen him picking up something off the ground. Um, He brandishes a cylinder that you recognize. It's a lightsaber, is it? He presses a button on the side of it and a purple blade comes out the length of it. Motherfucker. You recognize this Tokrin as the blade of Mace Windu. Motherfucker. Fuck off. Bitch, don't lie to have that. That's no fair. That's Sam LJ's right there. No, 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 on no. On the side of it, it says, badass motherfucker. So actually, my motherfucker thing mm, was actually quite accurate. relevant. <laughs> yeah. Not oh, in this house. Not in oh, this house. No, you got a I'm gonna die. Saber. No one should touch that light. He trigger. can't. He's not at fucking training. He looks at all the, the room of all of you in there. Sick. Looks at you and goes. He twirls the lightsaber and just goes, "Let's do this." Don't do. At which point he twirled it. Doors, he must have had training. Four <laughs> doors in the room open, and from the Clone <laughs> Wars, you would recognise four of Grievous's style droid guards. Oh, out, all branching Magna stacks. guards! So you guys are now in the initiative order. That stands at being Uma, followed by Cad Bane, yep. the first of the droids, then Luna, then the second of the droids, then Tokrin, followed by the, th- the third droid, then Wayne, the final droid, and then Kip. Nurgle has no weapon anymore, so mm-hmm. when being included in the initiative, he runs over to try and aid Banner, who is just, just fucked. Legless. Mm-hmm. So, th- we're going to bring it back round um, 
to Uma again mm -hmm. as this combat begins. So you're currently at medium range again now yes. to um, Cad Bane. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do... The, there are If we imagine this circle has uh, as a sort of square within it, mm -hmm. um, at each of the corners is where one of the doors opened for these droids. Yes, the corners of that circle, yes. Yep. Cad Bane <laughs> is near the sort of top right corner mm -hmm. of this square. Yep. Um, next to one of the droids. Cool. Uma is sort of in the, near the middle of this mm -hmm. of this square, and that you guys, the rest of you, are all stood at the base of the square. Yeah. So there are droids on for you guys near the door. There are droids on your left and your right, and then two in front of you. And for you, there is one uh, to your sort of side mm -hmm. near, at the top left corner, and there's one next to Cad Bane who's yes. up against you. Cool. All are brandishing uh, electro staffs. Cool. It is your turn, Uma. Awesome. Um, I drop my sword, mm -hmm. um, and as I'm running over to Cad Bane, how far away am I from him am I? It's medium. Cool. Um, so it's going to be double manoeuvre. I'm going to yep. put on my gloves and punch him um, with it. You need a manoeuvre to change weapons. Okay, I thought it was incidental. No, Fair you have enough. to use a manoeuvre. Um, in that case... I'm going to do something that I've never tried before. Ooh. Um, actually, no, I'm not. I've tried this one. I'm going to do the, the, the other thing that I can do. Um, Go ahead. I'm going to drop... Uh, I'm going to start walking up to him, put my sword away, put on my gloves, yep. and as I'm doing so, I'm going to throw a stun grenade at him. Cool, Ooh. which is a short-range weapon. Yeah. Please make a ranged light attack. I'm not good at this. Um, ranged light. Uh, cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, right, that is a success and a disadvantage. A success and a disadvantage. So think about how that disadvantage might affect you. But you successfully throw this grenade at mm -hmm. Cad Bane. Cool. Um, it, it, it sort of explodes and also catches the droid that was next yeah. to him as well. What? Um, so it's eight damage of the stun variety. So I think it gives him eight strain. Eight strain, right. Yeah. Okay. You um, Throw this stun grenade, and there's this sort of explosion of light and yes. um, smoke. Mm -hmm. You, you, there's a moment of sort of silence, and you look, and then Cad Bane, this purple blade cuts through the smoke, and Cad Bane walks towards you. Uh huh. He, at being at short range to you now, moves up to engage with mm -hmm. you and attacks you with the lightsaber. Cool. Only using one maneuver. Yeah, he can only. Sick. It's just his movement that he does. How the fuck did he get Mace Windows lightsaber? <laughs> He didn't. Took it. Hondo did. Mm. Oh, very good point. Mm. How does he have proficiency in later? <laughs> He's used one at some point. I think he uses it in the Clone Wars. He, he I don't think he does use a lightsaber in the Clone Wars, but Cad Bane's an experienced person. He may be coming across it. So. Yeah. He's a, the, the thing about it is that I'm going to transfer over his sword skills to lightsaber just because he's a boss battle. Mm -hmm. um, but he's, an, he's, a, he's, a good, he's a bounty hunter. Yeah. He's a proficient swordsman, so he's, mm. he's, he's, he's good enough. I was going to say, I have one defense. Yep, now I'm taking that into account. Thick. Um, and he has he is disorientated at the moment as well. Yeah. Yes. Hopefully this goes well. James said fuck to himself. It's either gone really badly or really, really well. I'm guessing really, really well, because James is a nice person. So, okay. Right. He does not get any critical hits, but he does hit you. Okay. He... Gets no advantages or disadvantages. Mm -hmm. He just gets five successes. What? He deals 12 damage, ignoring all of your soak. Oh. You don't? Maths. Um, <laughs> I'm on zero exactly. Zero exactly. Um, so you're at full. Can you, parry? You, you meet your wound threshold. Can you parry? I can parry. I parry. <laughs> <laughs> I how parry. Many, how many ranks of parry? I have you two. Have? You have two. I so think. Can, I'm going to check. <laughs> you suffer three strain and ignore four damage. Oh, thank God. Allowing him You're to You're welcome. Eight. You take eight wounds. Right, cool. I take eight wounds, uh, which will put me to that. Cool. See, the thing is, Talker Talker has, has just taken parry, so actually what happens as he's coming towards you, you just hear in your voice, it's like, use the parry, Uma. <laughs> oh. um, I then uh, would like to second win, so I only take one uh, strain. Yeah, sure, go cool. ahead. 
That brings it... So he's currently engaged with you and still brandishing his Aww. lightsaber against you. I never ask. Oh, Dozer will be so disappointed. No, he won't. I broke up with him. <laughs> you broke um, up with him? That's canon. That's like a, that's, that happened at the beginning. That did happen in the beginning. Yeah. Can confirm that is They canon. had one date. It was super awkward. But you, So you... Cad Bane walks up to you and he swings his lightsaber down against you. You sort of managed to bat his first attack out of the way with yeah. your gauntlet, but he swings it back around and like puts it behind him like a like mm-hmm. a twirl and a, a backward stab, and it doesn't quite it, it doesn't stab you like run you through, but it catches you in your side, mm-hmm. dealing quite a lot of damage, and you have this searing pain yeah. on your, your right hand side. Um, at which point he twirls back round to face you again, and this brings it to the first droid. So this is the droid in the top left corner of yes. the square. This droid moves um, um, twice towards uh, the guys. So he's at long range to the rest mm-hmm. of them, but he moves into uh, lo- short range from the rest of you guys that are currently at the door. Mm-hmm. Um, he- Luna, it's now your turn. Cool. Is there any way to duck and cover behind in this room? What's the Not debris close to really. us? really. There is... Um, if you wanted to use a destiny point, I would say that there's some you could make a part you could use some of the pile of stuff to like make some cover mm-hmm. but at the moment it's it's kind of like a bare vault room okay. with very little shelving or anything like that and any that are, are up against the walls cool but there's piles of crap everywhere could i go into the room and make a pile of cover to hide behind mm-hmm. by flipping a destiny flip point. a destiny point sure. <laughs> flip, 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 flip. we've never made the noise before but that's the noise that make a that's the destiny point noise that is that is oh also i'd like you just to keep i'm just going to keep track of this uma when you threw that stun grenade you destroyed about two thousand worth of <laughs> <laughs> oh no it was i like to imagine i like to imagine it was like a very very expensive painting yeah and <laughs> you know how like paintings you're not supposed to use flash photography because it'll damage yeah, the paintings. they're also super rare in star wars yeah. style paintings um it was because it's such an intense flash it's just bleached the paintings so yeah, it's, it's just, gone completely it's just canvas <laughs> so dumb <laughs> So you're, you're down to, currently there's about 28,000 worth in this room. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, it could be worse. You're still it's going to get lower. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you guys, uh, Luna, what would you like to do after you've made, your, you've made you, you dash to the side and make some cover. Mm-hmm. You're not far from where the door is, sort of still on the back surface of this square, the bottom, the bottom of this square. Mm-hmm. Um, to your sort of left is a droid at short range. Okay. And on the other side of the room to your right, there's a droid at long range. Cad Bane is in the top right corner at, at long range as well. And the there's a droid in the center of the room that's currently at short range. <laughs> Can. Um, how heavy is the droid's weapon? Or how heavy is the droid is my question. The droids are pretty heavy. Fuck. How heavy is his weapon? Pretty fucking heavy. A man can lift it and use it. Obi Wan uses it fairly easily, but it's it's like it's a staff made of metal. If you I had really use it two handed, yeah. yeah. If like, I had one strength in my force move, would that be enough yeah. to lift this weapon? You'd one. have to contest it against the strength of the droid. So are you talking about the silhouette? Because you can. It's the strength. Oh, so you take the strength. Yes. So that means you can do up to silhouette one, which means you can lift up a person. You can lift up a person. Yes. Do you have the sh- do you have the uh, other stuff to be able to throw them or can you just move them around? I have so I took two things of control. So I've one the first rank of control, which is you can throw objects. The second one is that you can pull objects like people's grasps. And I wanted to pull the staff out of his. She can do that as just yeah, grasp. Yeah, that would be fine. It would just be con- if you want to pull the weapon out of his hands, it would be contested mm-hmm. against their strength because they can resist it. If you want to throw the droid itself, we'd have to look up at how much damage it can actually take. How far can she throw it? I've got two ranges. You spent a lot of money in that. Wow. Yeah. You're good at moving stuff. I wanted to be able to throw things. Yeah. How much damage is it? Does it say how much damage it takes when it hits uh, the wall? Dealing damage yeah. equal to 10 times silhouette. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's fine. So can I try and throw this droid? <laughs> you can try and throw the droid and it'll do 10, 10 damage if you hit it against. So which one are you trying to throw? The one to your left? Which is in the corner still, the one in the right still in its corner, or the one in the centre of the room? Can I aim it? Can I throw one of the droids into another droid? Um, if it's short range so can I throw the one that's to my left that's short range yeah. to the one that's in the centre that's short they're range they're both at short range so yeah sure that's what I'm thinking so that's, it's, it's um, probably it's short range between uh, no, it'll be medium range between the two of them can yeah. you move it medium range I've got two ranges so I, it just that's, has that one should be fine. Range. that yeah. should be fine and yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll allow you to do that the one 
um, throw it th gets thrown into will take less damage, half damage. Yeah. So for control, it says can I make a ranged combat check to throw it? Okay, so you make a ranged light attack then, which you're good at. Ranged light attack. Which means heavy because it's a heavy, oh. it's a heavy, heavy droid. I don't really know what the. It just says ranged combat check. Doesn't say light or heavy. I'd say ranged heavy actually. Yeah, because you're throwing a thing. They are heavy. They're heavy. The thing is, that ranged light is for like blasters and stuff. Exactly. And ranged ranged heavy, heavy is like your big guns. This is heavier than big guns. <laughs> yeah, no, totally ranged heavy. Okay, heavy. cool. Heavy. So what my what my what my rolling against? You, uh, let's. Uh, you're gonna roll it because you're throwing it medium range. So we'll say you roll it against two purple, which is your standard medium medium okay. range check. Can I aim it? Because I'm trying to throw it into a certain thing. I will not allow you to. Aim you it. have done so <laughs> much on this fucking turn. Oh my god. I'll take this. Tell me she's done nothing yet. We're going to say that the destiny point to make we'll herself a pile of boxes. You can't aim it because all of your manoeuvres were taken up cool. making yeah, the cover. That's, I was actually, that was one thing I was going to check. Cool. Um, do I need to roll a force die to do this? But it just says You have to roll a force dice. Yes. Six. So yeah, roll your force dice. Cool. Two dark side. Okay, so it'll cost Ooh. two conflict to do, but that allows you to upgrade your stuff enough to be able to do this. We I mean, are splicing through these conflicts. Like, I've d I don't actually think it's the how first many, time. How many I've conflict do you have? That's the first time I've taken conflict before, I think. How? I mean, it makes sense because you're very angry at Cad Bane. Yeah, 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 that's true. Oh, yeah, that's true. Love it when we make a story reason. Yeah, exactly. story reason. You're really, really pissed off at him because he's got a blue he's face. A... Oh, that takes so much conflict. He's Plus, he's, yeah, he's got a blue face. Uma's got a blue face, and Uma annoys you. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I got two. I got two triumphs, a Whoa. failure, and a disadvantage. <laughs> okay, so you get. We'll, we'll say that in terms of successes that you'll add on to the damage, you get. Oh wait, no, it'll be just be 10 flat out. You don't add successes to this one because it's a force thing. So that's fine. So we can ignore that. But we'll give you the two critical hit injuries as well. So basically, what we're going to do here is that you take cover and you outreach with the force. All the force sensitives in the room feel this like like explosion of energy from Luna as she picks up one of the droids and hurls it at the second. The first droid takes 10 damage, uh, although it has soap. Uh -oh. Mm. Mm. And this was Droid Three. It was fun. It was cool. Just had to go and fucking fun. ruin it, didn't it? And the uh, the second Droid takes half of that damage as well. Mm -hmm. But both of them, one each, takes a critical injury as well. Lol. Luna, can you wow. roll me two D one hundreds? Uh huh. First one is fifty two. I don't think I, I don't think I can add anything onto or anything. Mm -hmm. And then second one Ooh. is eighty three. Oh, I like that one. I like that. I like oh, that. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like them jibs. Oh, that's beautiful. Call them jibs. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so for future reference, all three of these guys have the thing. So all of the enemies in this room have something called adversary, which I just missed out. I forgot to put on. Which means that you upgrade the attacks, every attack against them. So one of those purple dice, if you're engaged with them, the two purple dice, mm -hmm. one's a red. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. That's fine. Okay, so yeah. droid... Right, what did you get? Don't so what was the first one? 52. Two. So 52 is Fearsome Wound. The target increases the difficulty of all presence and willpower checks by one until the end of the encounter. Helpful. Um, it's right, because next time you crit him, you have 10. Yeah. So now I'll get him to the point where I can really hurt him. What was it for the other droid? droid 83. 1. Hmm? 83. 83. 83 is winded until the end of the encounter the target cannot voluntarily suffer strain to activate any abilities or gain oh. additional maneuvers no parry that's really good that means that they can't parry they can't um, activate any critical hits through their um, advantages and that sort of stuff oh, oh. 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 right okay ha 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 Mickey Mouse is back oh god <laughs> roll initiative for Mickey Mouse if you, if you ever watch Kingdom Hearts, honestly, that Mickey Mouse does just come in at random points when like you're really stu like, really stuck and everything's about to go to shit and just wrecks everybody. It's, <laughs> it's great. You think like just just imagine him with like just imagine Mickey Mouse with a lightsaber. Literally imagine Mickey Mouse with a lightsaber. That's pretty much what he's like in <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, except with a big massive <laughs> keyblade. He's gone fucking mad. It's great. Kingdom Hearts is a great game. That brings it round to the second droid's turn. This is the one that's in the corner up next to Uma and and. Cad Bane. Mm -hmm. It moves up to Uma. Now I was going to ask because yes. if it hits me, 
I'm fucked. Mm -hmm. uh, can I flip a destiny point to say that um, uh, that like Cad Bane is flinging the lightsaber around too much, so he can't quite get close enough? Fine, yeah. Cool. So you burning um, through those destiny points. I need it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you give me he, he hits yeah. me. I'm fucked. So. You activate a destiny point and it changes its mind mm -hmm. and and moves again into the center of the room near where the ones that got hit are. It's now short range to the people at the door, unable to get for, far enough yeah. forward to attack you guys this round. You now have uh, droids. One, two, and three in the sort of center of the room. They're kind of a two of them are engaged with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, one and three, and the second one is at short range to them. Nice. The fourth one is still in the corner. That brings it around to Tokrin's turn. Tokrin, how far? To so what, what's turn. what's around me? I've got, I've got a couple of Magna Guards near me, don't I? You've got three in front of you and one to your right, all at short range. Can I? Uh, Things I don't really want you to get hit again. Uma. Go con you could go fight the one in the corner that's going to attack me. <laughs> How far away am I from that? No, no, no. That one moved into the center of the room now. Oh, okay, good. Cool. So I don't really want to go in and engage with three of them. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> Not feeling so that like The way the lay of the land is, you are short range to all four droids and medium range to Uma. Right, I want to go campaign. to the one on the right of me, droid so the, sing the single droid, mm -hmm. and I want to ignite the lighty saber, which I kind of have already done. <laughs> nice. And then I want to slice that motherfucker. You want a glow stick? I want a glow stick. Nice. I want to stick a glow stick. Brilliant. Stick up his okay, ass. so make an attack against him. Yep. Just remember to upgrade. So it's two purple, but one of those becomes a red. So one purple, one red. And I can still aim, but it takes a strain to do it. Is that true? Paddle. Yeah. Yes. So you get one maneuver and one action, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. And then you can yeah, take you can an extra maneuver. And that just stops the strain. Vroom. It was really not worth using that strain, but okay. Um, oh, guys, it's not fantastic. So those cancel out. I think it all. That is nothing. Complete nothing. Completely nothing. Complete enough to nothing. Clean slate. So you, you, you run up to this droid and bring your lightsaber down, but it quickly brings its staff up, bl mm. blocking your blast. You try a second attack, swinging down towards its leg, and its other blade swipes down and stops you as well. It pushes you back, you're still engaged with it, um, but you now are at a standoff, having done no damage to this droid. Yeah. That brings it round uh, to the third droid's turn. It uses one of its manoeuvres to pick itself up off the ground, having been thrown into its compatriot. <laughs> um, and then uses another manoeuvre to move up to um, Luna. <clears throat> <laughs> that was a visceral noise. <laughs> Hi! It, yeah, it... Um, See what I do to your pals? I'll do that to you. <laughs> It attempts to bring its uh, Vibra Axe down on top of you. I would um, like to dodge yeah. as an incidental. Which? Okay, I, I don't know if I've actually used this in the right way. Probably have. No, go ahead. When targeted by a combat check, may perform a dodge incidental to suffer a number of strain no greater than the ranks of dodge. Then upgrade the difficulty of the check by that number. You've used Ooh. it in totally right. Okay, so that's fine. So how many ranks of dodge do you have? I have one rank of dodge. One rank of dodge. Okay, so it's, it's difficulty against you is upgraded, so it's going to be rolling a red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. I love that. I love it. With gravy. <laughs> I just like saying gravy in that accent. I think that's what, so I think that means I take one strain for doing that. And you yeah. have defense, do you not, for your armor? Uh, also... You have one. I have one defense. I also have parry? You also <laughs> have the parry, which it, parry. This, this would can come in after it's made its attack against you, because mm -hmm. this is a melee attack. If it hits, you can be like, no. <laughs> Less damage. Why was I the only one that didn't have parry? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> None of us know me. Weird decisions. Right, okay. No, that's not a good right, okay. That's a you taking damage, right, okay. That one got parry. <laughs> Gems! Yes. Why? It does 10 damage against you, but you can use soak. Ah, parry. It doesn't affect your soak. So it doesn't, it doesn't, my soak doesn't want to count. No, no, your soak counts. So, soak so, counts. So, so 10 minus your soak, unfortunately your for the droid as well. Not defense. Not defense. Defense uh, adds black dice to their roll. Um, it makes their makes their attack harder. Unfortunately for the droid, it got on because it had that red dice that you mm -hmm. upgraded. Basically made it upgrade with against. your dodge. Yeah, with your dodge. Dodge. It 
it so it swings against you and then and hits you with its thing. You suffer quite a bit of damage from that. It's you get this sort of horrible electric shock as its as its staff hits you. It then tries a second attack against you and it smashes its weapon into the pile of crap you've got next to it, oh. destroying another thousand um, oh, worth shit. of stuff. A nice thing. <laughs> you, um, unfortunately for the droid though, it damages its weapon slightly, pushing it from um, uh, an undamaged weapon to minor damage weapon. Below that is moderate major. If it goes from major below, it breaks the weapon completely. Wow. So it ha- currently has a minor weapon. Uh, it did 10 damage. Yeah, and this was droid 3. And yeah. it did 10 damage. Remove your soak from that. How much damage? How much soak do you have? Parry. I'm like parry, but then I'm real, I'm starting to run quite low on strain. Fuck it, I'm gonna so parry you'd, it. You'd make it seven damage. I should have less damage. I may as well stressfully parry things now. And- so suffer three strain and uh, and reduce the damage to seven. So you take seven damage minus your soak. Cool. I may as well parry it now and then worry about the strain later. That's gonna be the motto. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. So that brings it round um, to Wayne's turn. Don't blow his possession. Come Wayne on. is currently invisible. Good! Remain such. So, out of nowhere, a blade materialises in the air, flies through the air, and hits the head of the droid attacking Luna. <laughs> There's a slight shudder of the blade before it flies back to an invisible point in the middle, in, in, near the door and disappears again. Wayne has hit the droid, caught doing nine damage... Um, because he got a lot of successes, but he also gets a critical hit. That's Luna, my daddy! Would you like to roll a critical hit for your daddy? That's my daddy! I mean, was it 56? Well, oh, great. 56, oh, agonizing average. wound. It's better than average. The target increases the difficulty of all brawn and agility checks by one until the end of the Good. encounter. That's, That's actually so much better than we had for 83 yeah. or whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which was that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, so what did you say? Ooh, no. 50. Oh, I'll go. Sorry, 50, 56. 56. But we had 10 because it's already damaged. So, 66. Mm. This I mean, target is disorientated until the end of the encounter. All its attacks have a black dice on top of them. Oh, okay. The thing that Rain's got. Yeah. Yeah, so they're going to have an extra black dice for the rest of the match. Fucking okay. A. Uh, that match. brings it round to <laughs> Droid 4, who is currently being attacked by Tokrin. He is going to make an attack against you, Tokrin. Get my parrying ready. Now you've got it. And you have, a defen- you have a defense of one, do you? I not? do, I do, I do. And he aims against you. That's a lot of damage. It damages uh, you, dealing 11 damage. Okay. Mm hmm. It, no, sorry, it doesn't. No. 10 damage. So it does 10 damage with your soak. Remember the soak. Mm-hmm. But it does a critical hit against you. Cool. And it has two leftover advantages. Do I need to add 10 for each of these boys? The critical injuries I already have. Because I have three critical injuries already. You, yeah, you need to add 30. 30 to it. Prepare your butt. There's going to be a big electro stave in it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, touchy. <laughs> it has something called linked, which uh... means it initiates another attack with base damage against you as well, because it had those leftover two advantages. Okay. Which is another eight damage separate. Remove your soak. Yeah. Fuck. So what's your soak? Five. Five. So I get. Five. So you take three damage from the second attack, and eight you damage take. I'm talking. Uh, Five from the first one. Five from the first one. Cool, right. Okay, continue to fuck me. I'm going to roll my... Where's add... my dice? Oh, here. Oh, that's a shame. Have they gone? Ah, well. <laughs> my turn. Oh, what, no. what, how many critical hits do you have? Three. Okay, this makes it 83, which is winded until the end of the encounter. The target cannot voluntarily suffer strain to activate any abilities or gain additional manoeuvres. Oh, so shit, you can't shit, parry. shit. Yes. So oh, you can no. only heal that outside of this combat yeah he can't um, heal it for another week how many himself. fucking purples is that boy i think we'll find it six days now how many what's the severity on that shit oh that's a two so can't do parry what else can i do anything that requires you to activate advantages including critical hits unless you get triumph so now my uh, me getting oh, one you, advantage, <laughs> advantage. Uh, everything I literally got just for this fight you've taken from me <laughs> you also ones. can't use advantages for anything yeah 
No, sorry. No, you know, no, sorry. You can't suffer strain to do anything. That's all it is. Okay. Oh, so I can still use advantages to. No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, not advantages. You can still do critical hits. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. you can totally do yeah. that. You yeah. just can't suffer strain to do anything. So that's your. Yeah, it's to parry, your reflect, your things like that. Or suffer strain to do two maneuvers. So aim. You can't aim if you move. Cool. But you're cu still currently engaged with yeah, the person. Yeah, fine. It's now Kip's turn. Oh, I. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of people in this fight. Oh, this is fucking madness! Um, he shouts as he decides, fuck it, I'm gonna. He suffers himself one strain. Uh -huh. Classic. And runs up to try and aid um, Uma with Cat <laughs> Bane. <laughs> okay. Because lightsabers don't scare me. What is it? A giant fucking glue stick I rave every Tuesday, bitch. <laughs> and he runs up to what a weird man. <laughs> so Kip runs up to Cad Bane and he brings his axe down on him. And the uh, reason for his high defense rating becomes clear. Uh, Kip sort of like brings his axe down and it hits this as, uh, as it comes about one foot away from Cad Bane or mm -hmm. less than that. Um, there's suddenly this sort of blue aura around him Shit and he has off. this struggle Cheating. and then he pushes it through mm. oh, wow. drags it across Cad Bane's chest dealing how much damage is your axe here? Uh, seven dealing ten damage total Ooh, against his soul nice. Delays how many how many advantages does he have? he has one advantage uh, which means that Cad Bane on the next one will have a black dice against uh, whoever he can attacks. he just give me a boost on my next die? He can give you a boost. Cool, yeah, I'll take it that. It throws Cad Bane off balance, uh, allowing you to have a better. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. See, see this shieldy boy. Wow, this this shield that you got going. Is this something that's attached to him, or is this something that he just? Difficult to have? tell. It's he insane. has a large trench coat. It could be anywhere on his person. So I'm gonna, um, I need to force pull his trench coat off, and I need to force pull. Okay, there's a lot of things to force, force pull, pull off. You off. could use your action um, to do a vigilance check against him and try and find it, but it require it would have an extra black dice because of his clothing. No, there's no fucking point. Uh, but you could find what might be... Things. So lightsabers go through... Just like, do you guys recognise kind of like... a personal deflector shield? Do the lightsabers go through their shield or not? Uh, it's a defence. So you have to make the attack against the shield. So, right, so you, those right. black dice will always be against you, no matter what. It, this brings it back round uh, to Uma's turn. Oh, Your nice. face now have a friend in, in with you. Mm -hmm. uh, both of you brandishing, uh, well, you're brandishing your your cortosis gauntlets mm -hmm. against Cad Bane, and he seems to be off balance. Cool. So, gonna punch him. Mm -hmm. Gonna aim. Good stuff. And I get that bonus. Yep. And then I'm rolling against two purple and three blacks. Fuck. One purple, one red, three blacks. One, one purple, one red, three blacks. Mm -hmm. So this is the dice I'm rolling. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much a whole thing of dice. They go away. Um, Any criticals, remember, because we have to yeah. resolve them independently. So that they're going to count as two successes. Um, awesome. That takes these away. That's good. I think that's really good. Um, so that works out as one, two, three, four, five, six successes, two advantages, and a critical failure. <laughs> okay. Fuck. So the critical failure um, means... And did you remember to remove a success for the critical failure? Uh, yeah. No. One? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So your critical failure is going to mean uh, that the next time you attack Cad Bane or attack anyone, mm -hmm. you have to upgrade the difficulty. So if you okay. attack Cad Bane again, it'll be two reds right, instead yeah. of two purples. Cool. No worries. The um, rest of your successes doll up your damage. How much did um, you do? So first of all, uh, actually, so mm -hmm. that is going to be a success and a, an advantage because um, mm -hmm. I can choose essentially what they are. Ah. Yeah, that's um, cool. So that's one, two, three, four... Uh, nine damage. Nine damage. Nine damage. Um, but basically, what happens is, so I'm use. I'm kind of mad. Yes. I'm badly hurt. And as as I pull back to punch, I essentially infuse my fist with the force, mm -hmm. hit him, um, uh, with my first punch, and essentially as I hit him, like a blast of force goes out, which hits him even harder. And then the second one, I'm gonna bring my other hand up and grab his lightsaber and just grab the end of it, and it turns off. Okay, brilliant. So you activate your ketosis power. I do indeed. We should point out for the listeners that Henry's using a force die, which is allowing yeah. him to do this because of his enhanced abilities. Mm -hmm. What damage do you deal with him? So, based off that, that uh, so in total, it's nine damage. With in, take it, and he, he can include. He can use his soak. He can. Um, and then his lightsaber cannot be turned back on until the end of the next round, which will be the end of your turn next time. Yeah. So that. Yeah. So he has one one attack now that he can't do without yeah. his um, thing. That's so basically, fine. my next until my next turn, his lightsaber's off. Yeah, that's totally fine. So his lightsaber um, turns off. 
Uh, which brings it round to Cad Bane's turn. Having seen that his lightsaber malfunctions, he uses his one maneuver to, um, because he can't use more than one, mm-hmm. uh, to swap out uh, for a blaster. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately for him, blasters aren't, when, you, when you're using ranged light attacks against people that are um, close up, he has to up, he has to modify the difficulty. So he gets mm. plus one difficulty. <clears throat> so he's going to attack you. So he attacks you, Uma, successfully hitting you. Okay. He gets only one extra advantage, which he'll use to give you an extra black dice next okay. time you attack specifically. Um, well, next time you attack. Uh huh. Um, so he pulls his blaster out and like fires it directly. It hits an mm-hmm. armor plate on your body. Yeah. Um, uh, but it deals um, six damage, including a soak. Oh, cool! Nothing then. Nothing. It cool. just bounces off my so- off my armor. Nice. Yeah. Bing. Nice. Nice. Um, but and I can imagine it probably it rocks me a bit. It rocks so. you a bit, pushing you back, which is you, you have this sort of like sparks come off your armor into your eyes, and you just you're a little bit like blinking as you're trying mm-hmm. to make your next attack against him. Brings it to the first of the droids, who's now also going to use one maneuver to pick themselves up, having had another droid thrown at them. Mm. They stand up and uh, move over towards. Um, <laughs> So they move up, actually, to try and help Cad Bane as there's two people attacking them. Now. Okay. And he tries to attempt to fight Kip. Okay. Fucking Kip. So this uh, <clears throat> this droid walks up and attempts to hit Kip. Um, Kip sort of manages to avoid the attack. He notices just uh, um, as, your, as the droid comes up behind him. And as the droid brings its weapon down on top of him, he like push it, pulls his uh, vibra axe out. And like cross guards against it, stopping mm. the, stopping it from hitting him. Kip's fucking great, man. This brings it round to Luna's turn. Awesome. So I have a droid that's currently engaged with me. Mm-hmm. Cool. Can I jetpack myself out of that situation? One hundred percent. There's Please. no attacks of opportunity. Cool. I would like to jet my jetpack myself up to medium range. Yep. Take aim and fire at said droid. Okay, um, note one system strain for your jetpack because you're using it to move two range, band, range bands. Mm-hmm. Uh, just note one system strain. If we get to... If we start going over ten, then I'll start considering what the fuck that means. <laughs> um, but I was, mo- I was moving to medium because isn't it at short range? I'm disadvantaged with my rifle, but when I move to medium... No, short range, you're fine. Really? To the one that you engage with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just one purple. I'll go short range then. No, no. If you're engaged with them, then it's an, you have to add an extra two. You have three purple dice for the rifle. Yeah. I'll go short range then. So you get a short range? Yeah. Totally cool. So you jetpack up just a couple of, maybe like a meter or so above the, the droid, just out of its reach. Mm-hmm. And pull your blaster out. Maybe move off to the side a little bit so you've got a better shot and make a ranged heavy attack against this motherfucker. Can do. I'm also going to... Uh, just gonna... note that they have armor, so it's like they have a uh, one... One black dice. Yeah, cool. Okay. I'm going to aim as well. And that the, load. the oh, the one purple that you you aim at them. It's it's a red instead because they're adversary. Yeah. It was good. Oh, it was good. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I have five successes and one threat. So damage wise, that would be fourteen. Fourteen damage. Ooh. Fucking nice. So you deal 14 damage minus their soak, and this is against droid three. Yep. So this droid is starting to look a little bit more rough now. Oh. Um, you, you fired like two bolts out as like, maybe like you, you jump up and as you jet pat back, you fire one bolt off and then you aim again and fire a second one off, hitting him in the hip and then in the shoulder, mm-hmm. um, dealing quite a bit of damage against the droid. Um, did you get any advantages you want to use or anything like that? I got a, di- a disadvantage. Disadvantage. Mm. Um, so we'll just say for the disadvantage that you're kind of un- like attacking as quickly as you did when you, um, uh, after immediately activating your jetpack, mm. you lose a little bit of control and you'll just have like one extra black dice against your next attack. Okay. That brings it round to Droid 2's turn. Droid 2 is currently engaged with... Um, no. Droid 2 is currently stood in the centre of the room doing absolutely fuck all. <laughs> the droid walks up to where Wayne was, <gasps> moves up using one manoeuvre, and then it uses his action to perform a vigilance check and attempt to find where Wayne might be. Okay. Fuck off! Which he gets a clean slate 
and uh, uh, yeah, he, he he's got a I think one advantage. Well, then. He gets one advantage. So if he tries this again, he'll have a boost die for it. Um, he but, knows where he's not. <clears throat> he, yeah, he knows where he is. So you see a droid walk up to where it saw thing, and it, it's swinging its blade around trying to get it. And you can only assume that Wayne is either just walking away or like definitely dodging the blades to avoid being hit. Oh, so this has got you doing like kung fu fighting. There. Yeah. Everybody was kung fu. <laughs> like the droid's just standing there, like waving its arms around. But the droid is unable to find Wayne. Awesome. Bring it around to Tokrin's turn. Yay! I hit him. You want to hit him with your lightsaber? Mm-hmm. Please, please. Ooh. No. Interesting move. Interesting. Uh, I it's need a lit to... saber. <laughs> huh? And I can aim because I'm right in front of the fucker. I can do that. Uh, yeah, add one black dice for its defense. Oh, does it have a defense? Mm-hmm. And then you gold him. Go. Oh, please, he hits him. <laughs> oh. It's not great. Oh. Um, no, it's um, good. It's fine. I've got a success. Which is cancelled out by the fail. Yeah. So I've got despair and three advantages. Okay. You sound like you you're in you, despair. You have, actually, technically you have four advantages. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Means fucking you nothing. can use those advantages to. You can use them to get a critical you hit. You can use it to do a critical hit, which would be two, I believe, for your weapon, is it not? Your rating? Crit rating? I can do two crit rates. But you can also use a two, two advantages to activate something called Sunder. You're currently attacking Ooh. Droid 4, um, and Droid 4 has no damage to its weapon, but each Sunder that you do to it lowers it by one. Okay. So you could get it to moderate. And then you'd only have to damage it two more times before you destroy its weapon. I would. I think I'm going to do the two critical hits. Do oh, no. two critical hits. Please. So we'll do two critical hits. Um, but you're also going. To, so your um, weapon itself suffers one sunder rating. Meaning, can you please mark that your lightsaber currently has minor damage? Okay. Um, and we can talk about what minor damage will mean for your weapon later on. How does that work? Why did I get that? Uh, because you got the critical failure. That's one of the oh, things I can do with critical failure. Okay. Cool. Cool. Cochran is absolutely fucking shit in combat. He might be, um, but he's not good at anything else either. No, I'm totally joking. He just hasn't found his rhythm. Yeah, ev- honestly, listening back to the stuff I've edited of the campaign so far, he hasn't hit yet. <laughs> but when he does... He's been out of training for a long time. He really fucking has. You're, the, you're like the guy who I go, oh, but I gotta remember there's a lightsaber, so I make it harder. But then you don't use the lightsaber. <laughs> no. Um, I just fucking mess every fucking time. That's fine. So please roll your two D100s. The first one is a 33. Mm. Second one is a 71. But you had 10. Right. No, we don't. Oh, because it happens at the same time. It happens at the same time. So we, we, we won't. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck it. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. 81. Second one is 81. 33, uh, 31. 31. 33. Stunned. The target is staggered until the end of his next turn. Uh, staggered meaning that he can't act his next turn. Pretty good. It's not I hope. Bad. Bet I'll still miss. 81. Yeah, but he can't hit you. Winded. Until the end of the encounter, the target cannot voluntarily suffer strain. Nobody mm. can do any of that. No, that's the most common Everyone thing keeps getting done. that. <laughs> Everyone's like, you got no, oh, you got no strain either. Cool. Yeah, fair mm. enough. Same. I feel like you're strained. Brilliant. But he, yeah, um, more, more importantly, he can't act on his next turn. Yeah. That brings it to droid 3's turn, the droid that's just been attacked by Luna. The other, so the droid, um, having seen this, runs up um, to aid the droid that's attacking Kit. Um, and I mean, there's a cluster of motherfuckers over there. What um, droid is this? This is the droid that Luna was below oh, Luna. Right. Okay. So it now moves to medium range to you, Luna, um, and attempts to try and attack uh, your boyos over in the corner. So it moves to range. Uh, which one is this? Droid three. Cool. So he he moves over to try and attack Kip. He has to upgrade his difficulty of the attack because he's suffering a critical hit that you gave him. Mm-hmm. Which means he's fighting against three dice and Kip's defense, and he cannot aim. Ooh, fuck. And your boyo Kip 
is just absolutely fucking destroying these guys. Okay, no. No, he hits with uh, one success against Kip, dealing a total of nine damage. To Kip? To Kip. But Kip has soak as well, so we'll take Kip's soak into account. Kip might be making a brief appearance on the podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he might get a bit... Mm. Kip is down to ten wounds, or up. Because you usually go up in this until you meet your wound yeah. threshold. But he's gone from 14 HP to 10. Um, okay, so he's got four Kip's wounds. okay. He's, okay. Right. he's also got resources and like he hasn't been... like He, he might have stim packs and stuff. I don't know. Mm-hmm. We'll find out. We'll have to, have to ask the, the GM. We'll have to ask God. Um, but the, yes, uh, yeah. he does. <laughs> it brings it round to Wayne's Edit that turn. so it sounds like the Emperor. <laughs> Kip. Kip. You have stim packs now. Banner. Don't fuck with Stop me, Stop drinking. <laughs> uh, so Wayne attacks the droid that ran away from Luna that just att- that just injured Kip. You don't... So, so, out of nothing, a blaster bolt suddenly appears, flies through the air, and smacks into the back of the droid. So he does 11 damage to the droid. Yeah. Him, he himself suffers some strain because of some disadvantages he gets. It may have thrown him off balance. Impossible to tell. He's invisible. But he also gets a triumph, meaning oh. that he gets a critical hit against the droid. Fucking shits galore. Yeah. He gets 93. Whoa. Whoa. This is against droid 3, which already has two criticals against it, making Ooh. it 113. Whoa. 113. Temporary lame. Until the critical injury is healed, the target cannot perform more than one manoeuvre during Oh, that's the turn. one that I've done to Cab Bane. Yes. yes. Mm. We roll a lot of the same ones today. So we cannot use more than one manoeuvre. The, the, they're like in bands. There's only like... Yeah. Oh, that, oh is it? Okay. No, but I literally rolled exactly 113 against Cab Bane. Oh. Mm. Nice. So, uh, Droid 3 is starting to look badly damaged. Mm. This brings it round to Droid 4's turn, the one attacking Tokrin. It can't act this turn because of the critical hit you gave it. Nice. It stands there and goes... Tzzz. The look it's of now... fear on my face that was quickly <laughs> relieved. It's now Kip's turn. <clears throat> Kip attempts to make an attack against the badly injured droid in front of him. So Kip deals 8 damage against the droid. So Wayne damages him doing 8 damage total. But also because of the number of advantages he got, he manages to do... Um, huh? Wayne. I mean, no, this is Wayne. Wayne, Wayne made a range attack. Cool. So Wayne also gets a nice little bolus of critical hit. Oh, another one. Mm. Which he Jesus. got. He rolls 96. Ooh. And he adds... Because... Oh, no, no, no. So he adds another two. Oh, shit. Giving him 116. Which is also going to be, I reckon... Ooh. The one we're going to give you. The listeners might not be particularly familiar with this critical oh, hit, no. but two of our friends are <gasps> blinded. Yeah. <laughs> the target can no longer see. Upgrade the difficulty of all checks twice. Upgrade the difficulty of perception and vigilance checks three times. So, brilliant. Um, that brings it round to Uma's turn. Yeah. Fuck him up. Um, we'll just say for that, like, Kip, like, brings his... Uh, so he, like... Having deflected the hit against mm-hmm. this guy, as he brings like like slides his axe yeah. down the the electrostaff, mm-hmm. knocking it to the like uh, one side of it down to the ground. He brings the axe back up and hits the droid straight in the eyes. Cool. Permanently blinding it. Nice. I'm gonna punch Cad Bane again. Punch Cad Bane all you like. He has no lightsaber. The Cortosis can't act against yeah. it. Yeah. So. Just gonna punch him. Punch him in the face. Actually, no, I'm not. Fuck that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch weapons as a manoeuvre, yeah? Yep. Cool. I'm going to switch, going to draw my sword again. Yep. I'm going to hit him with my sword instead. Stab it Bring me, heart. attack him with the sword. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to aim as well. Can you use your enhanced thing against this? No. No. I can't. But I roll three yellows, so. Yeah, remember his uh, three black. Yep. Um... And remember, you have an extra black because you mm-hmm. were disorientated by the last thing. You, you had a flash in the eyes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Ooh. that is... So I ended up with two triumphs, a hit, and a disadvantage. So your disadvantage is just going to be, again, you um, the f- you sort of lose your footing slightly during mm-hmm. this attack. 
um, with your axe. Yep. And you... Sword. With, sorry, with your sword. Yeah. Uh, so you slightly lose your footing when you make this attack with your sword, uh, meaning that you'll have an extra black dice cool. um, in your next turn. Yes. But you deal an extra three plus your damage rating. So, so that's please, 11. 11, and we minus how much? Three? Um, three pierce. Suck. So you've... Okay, yeah. And then you have two critical hits. I do indeed. Resolve. The first one is going to be... Um, uh, 122 plus uh, does he have does he have any critical hits already he does I've already done one on him you did one crit against him already. Uh, so that's 132 for the first one so 132 you do something called bleeding out every mm -hmm. round the target suffers one wound and one strain at the beginning of his turn for mm -hmm. every five wounds he suffers beyond his wound threshold he suffers one additional critical injury mm. roll on the chart Suffering the injury, if he suffers uh, this as a result a second time, uh, due to this, roll again. Cool. So he's bleeding out. Yeah. Second one is... Remember to add two this time? Mm-hmm. 20? It's 113 again. 113. Wow. He's temporarily late. He already is. So do we... What, what happens? Because we've got uh, it again. It, I, roll again. Cool. Um, that is eighty-five. Eighty-five. Winded until the he cannot suffer strain or any abilities. Uh, yeah. Cool. To, to to gain additional maneuvers, so he can't have an extra maneuver, and he also can't suffer strains to activate anything. So he can't parry or anything like that. Cool. Same That's good to know. Before. Yeah. So you you bring your sword down in a, like a flurry of attacks against him without his saber to defend him. Mm -hmm. He is uh, completely um, um, he has uh, no chance of reducing the damage cool. against Good him. Good to know. He um, suffers several cuts, um, and one of them seems particularly nasty, hitting up an important artery. Yeah. And he will now lose one wound every turn. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hey. Mm. It's the bane of our lives. We'll do that at the yes. end. So at the end of his round, he'll suffer cool. one. So, yeah, cad bane. so you, um, so he looks up at you and goes, because I can't think of things to say. <laughs> but he he look, he looks at you, he like he looks up at you like in this because he, he like goes down to one knee, mm -hmm. like arm across his across his body, and he just looks, um, inc you know, almost defeated. He is unbelievably badly injured, and blood yeah. is sort of pouring out of his side. Oh, wow. Bringing it round to his turn. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be like when we when we fought against the the tyrant and we killed off like all the big bad guys and then we just spent like ages like <laughs> chopping down all the like the little, yeah. the, little the, the pawns afterwards and it was very anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, Cad Bane then um, does two things. He attempts to attack you, mm -hmm. bringing his uh, he brings up. A, a, you see a silver hilt and mm -hmm. pulls up out, again, out his lightsaber and attacks you with it. Okay. This could take me out. I do, I do now have two defense, though. Because of your. Because my sword has sword. defense. That's fine. Mm. He is. Unfortunately, he fails to hit you. Oh, how oh, unfortunate! For him. He so actually gets. Sad. I'm looking at it, actually. He gets a complete clean slate. Ooh, mm. I'll take that. Yeah, Dickhead. no, he does. So he gets a complete clean slate. So he, he pulls this light purple lightsaber up, slices at you, but you move out of the way just in time. Mm -hmm. And then he uses his one maneuver to jetpack himself up to short range above you. Okay. He's out of range of your melee attacks. Um, and is a, and ne you see next to his side um, are dangling are some stim packs. He can't use one this round. Jetpack battle! Oh. Jetpack battle! Sorry, I'm just. Did you hear that thing? About, did you hear that thing about stim pack? Yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna shoot them. You gotta kill them. <laughs> it brings it around to the first. It's a droid one's attack. Uh, droid one is currently. Um, where the fuck is droid? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so droid droid one is currently Oops. behind Uma. Mm -hmm. You uh, it, it attempts to make a melee attack against you. You have your sword out, meaning that it has an increased defense. Yes. It has to overcome. And it cannot suffer strain to do anything extra. He hits you with one advantage, meaning okay. that he'll have a boost on his next attack. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, he deals uh, uh, he deals nine damage against you, including oh, your soak. Oh no! 
I'm going to parry that and take none. Take none? Yeah, but because it takes of your strain. Yeah. yeah oh, fuck me. What's going to get you first? The strain? Oh, damn it. Shh. Hello, and welcome to the middle bit. Enjoy the rest of the episode. Goodbye. You said you wanted a short one. But James, we've made that joke like three times already, actually, <laughs> in the middle bits before. We can't keep doing it. You fucking dementia fuck. <laughs> we do need a short one for this, because this is the finale of The Great Games. Yes, and it's um, a big one. And it's a big boy. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. Yeah. Big Hefty boy. Burr. She'll never be the same again. <laughs> Hondo gives birth in a horrifying scene. <laughs> Um, what were we going to talk about? Uh, it's already gone on for too is, long. Uh, this is the finale of the Great Games. We did that. I know it's, it's good though. It's been it's a good. G- it's been a good campaign. We're going to do a so on next Sunday coming out is going to be a um uh sort of what we're doing next with the podcast sort of stuff uh, uh episode and the Sunday after that is going to be uh, a sort of. Um, under the covers that we've done before uh, let's try roleplay under the covers of this campaign so we're going to talk a lot more about what we've liked and what we've done in the campaign then um, and I'm going to go through all the characters that I created that didn't get a chance to come up because we were mm-hmm. randomly bringing them into the campaign through the through the great games um, yeah and that's, sort of, that's sort of a sort of a mini reveal of that obviously we've, we've spoken a lot in previous mid bits and stuff that we were obviously because of Covid we've been running out of episodes and ability to be able to record new stuff so for the coming weeks, we are going to be doing uh, a little mini series called Connor and James discuss. Do you want me to put the jingle in here? No, save 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 the, save ju- the jingle. Save the jingle. We've, save the jingle. We've got a jingle. It's not as good as you think it's going to be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we've we've got. <laughs> We've got a whole, uh, we've got a little series where we're going to talk about mostly Star Wars stuff, just because it, Connor and Connor and I have been left alone to do this. <laughs> um, we've got an announcement that's coming out this Thursday, um, which is going to lead into what's coming next with the podcast stuff. So that's going to be put up as a normal episode. So please check that out. Um, and we've got um, we've got a fair few weeks worth of stuff that we can put out as this Connor and James discuss sort of thing. Um, some of it is completely off the walls just mental (laughs) some of it is just a bit more listenable (laughs) Um, and some of it will involve only only one of the uh, episodes do we eat an entire pizza (laughs) pizza (laughs) whilst recording recording and it's unedited it's unedited and it's just atrocious because it's it's gonna be in in fact all of these are gonna be unedited fairly unedited pretty much they're all unedited but pretty, yeah, no, but, no, but I mean, they're they're okay. It's not that you like you have to do a lot of editing when you're editing the actual episodes and whatnot, because you know there's loads of grit, like breaks and while well, we're looking up rules and stuff. But this isn't as bad, so it's not like you're just going to be listening to us like not do anything for minutes on end. So it's not bad that it's unedited. There is a but... point where you leave the room during one of them for a good fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Over that. that that it just becomes James discuss. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to talk about various Star Wars things, um, and we're doing a big episode. So the, the announcement that's coming out on Wednesday is quite a uh, Thursday. Thursday is Thursday. quite a big one, and it merits us then going on and doing a whole separate episode on this Sunday coming. Yeah. Um, about where the podcast is going to go from here. Yeah. Um, but more on that later. We don't want to like sort of beat around the bush too much. We'll just we'll, we'll, we'll announce that when we announce it, yeah. and yeah. we'll we'll do that. But there's some exciting stuff coming. There is some exciting stuff coming, and we're we're gonna you know we've we've got the COVID's given us plenty of time to prepare the two campaigns that we've got ready before after um this we'll talk about that more in the sunday episode and reveal a little bit more as to what they're going to be uh but there is lots of let's try all play stuff coming so and we've specifically aimed to have something short and sweet that we can get out uh of high quality when we come back so as soon when we start recording it shouldn't be too long until you start hearing episodes again so we're hopefully actual role play like D D esque oh, episodes not rather D&D than just stuff. connor and james Discuss unedited Star Wars. discussing bullshit. <laughs> it's just going to be like we're going to have a few weeks of what are just like 
extended metal bits. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys all enjoy that, and hopefully you'll stick with us and wait for, or if you're really here for the role-playing stuff, so hopefully you'll, you, uh, you'll wait a little bit just for that to come back. It shouldn't be too long. We're hoping to have the next campaign out uh, uh, or starting around the end of August sort of time. Um, that's the... End of August, month. start of... Um, November. Whatever the month. After. September. September, that's the one. That's the one. Around that sort of time, we're hoping that it will it will be in the full swing of things again. That's normal. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you guys will enjoy what's coming up. It's just a bit of a laugh. One of them does involve you watching, having to watch alongside us uh, the worst piece of media that's ever been made. So we really <laughs> hope that you look forward to that. Um, <laughs> and we'll give you more on that later on. So yeah, thank you very much for listening to this midbit. We hope you're enjoying this episode and we hope that you've enjoyed this campaign. Yeah, right. See you later. Henry yeah. loves you. Bye bye. This brings it round to Luna's turn. Cool. So Luna, you see, Cad Bane is at medium range. Well, he's at medium. Well, yeah, I can say he's at long range, but it makes no difference for your scope. But he's at medium range for you, um, above Uma. You see that there is a droid on the floor searching for Wayne. One droid um, engaged with Tokrin, and two engaged with both Uma and and Kip. <laughs> I'd just like to point out both Connor and Henry are sitting there just pretending to like fire a gun in the air wildly. Oh, where the fuck is Nurgle? Nurgle has just sat with like he's dragged um, Banner up to a pile of trash and has propped him up, oh, okay. and they're sat drinking together. I mean, uh, he's having a good time. The only droid that has taken damage is Droid Three. Fuck. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I know. I've not been doing particularly well. Okay, <laughs> right, right. So he's at medium range. Yes. Can I move Cabin. to short range of Cabin with my jetpack? We're both in the air at the yep. moment. Yeah, move one maneuver. One maneuver, and then his. You said it's his feet that are his like jetpacks. What's yeah, kind of you can boots? see that he's got some sort of um, devices on his shoes that are, 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 are now enabling him to have flight. And might I add that fall damage in Star Wars is the biggest killer. Can I aim at his feet? It is fall damage in Star Wars is really really bad. I've listened yeah. to enough campaigns. Yeah, fall, fall damage. damage is fucking lethal. I would like to aim and shoot at his feet with his jetpacks. His okay, jetpack, so his jetpack shoots. You'll increase the difficulty by one purple because you're aiming for a very specific part. Mm-hmm. Um, what about his whole leg in general? Because if if he can't fly, if his leg isn't good, then he can't use his shoot shoes. his knees off. It's not. Yeah, <laughs> you'd have to destroy the device to stop. What him about his leg. groin? That would just hurt him very bad. <laughs> okay. You um. So, okay, you can either attack him. He looks really badly injured. You can either attack him himself or add one extra purple dice. If you hit the devices on his shoes, I will enable them to be deactivated for a round, meaning he falls. If I'm to use force powers, does that also require me to roll against his defence? That would be instead of his attack, your your rifle attack. Do I still roll against his defence? Depends on what you're trying to do with your force. Pull his shoe off. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it would, be, it would be against his strength. To Surely it would be against his shoelaces. But, 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 it would so, be against his strength. So, so you I, have those stats? I have control, which is all pull objects out of grasp. I mean, he's kind of grasping his shoe because his shoe's in it, like 10 yeah, no, yeah, but it, Can you I use the force to untie them? I totally allow you to use your rule to do that, but you'd have to do it against his strength. Right, sure. So it be a contested your strength versus his strength. I don't really have great. It's definitely more to do with how tightly he tied his laces than his strength. Really They're strapped on, and possibly even connected. He's to got his a strength. strap on. He has a strap on. They're Star Wars shoes. They don't use shoe laces anymore. Fuck. Oh, right. I will. Apart from the clone troopers, is why they're all tripping over each other. Am I right? <laughs> I should fell. It... So I've been painting some Star Wars Legion. Um... Uh, Enough clone you. troopers. What are you? <laughs> I'm fairly sure they've got like I'm genuinely looking at the models. They've no. got Velcro <laughs> or clips. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, What would you like? So to do if I'm not to aim at his shoe, how does that change this rule? You take one purple off. All right, I'll just try and shoot him. Just try and shoot him. <sighs> we should have added the purple. We should have added it. One success and one disadvantage. How would you like to kill him? Yes! Yeah. My boy! Shot through the heart. His name's Cad Bane. <laughs> People's going down. He gets a long way. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. 
because I feel, I feel like I want to have a bit of a dialogue with him as, as he's dying. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll allow you to do that. He'll still die at the end. Right, of kind it. of set the world light. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh shit, at the end of his turn. Oh, wait, no, yeah. At the end of his turn, he lost one wound, so he dies even more this time. So yeah, probably shoot, shoot at his. Uh, yeah, probably just shoot him through the chest. Shoot him through the chest. Good. So yes, this backwards. dialogue's going to be long, by the way. Okay. Well, I, I was going to say oh, shoot. He's an alien. Him. Fuck it. Maybe his like I don't know. Maybe his his lungs are in his legs. His lungs are in his legs. I was going to say shoot him at the shoe, but then I couldn't do that because that was the previous rule anyway. Um, so I'll say right. I'll shoot him and it hits him like say in like the top of his thigh or something, and he just like fall and like, the force just like hits him back and he falls to the ground and that hits him. And then I'd sort right. of jetpack down to be like, so, so bitch. So what we're going to do for this is that when we come around to Cad Bane's turn, he's going to lose one thing every time again, which is going to put him below his strain threshold. How much damage did you do against him exactly? I would have done nine. That's your crit. Okay. So he's currently on minus four. If he takes one round another one he's going to take another critical injury he's going to keep taking them um, which is if he outright dies as a result of his critical injury you get no dialogue with it at the end because okay. with, with him if we'll if we get to the end of the fight and he hasn't outright died I'll say that you have just about enough to be able to have a little bit of dialogue with him before he inevitably dies he almost definitely dies from the fall damage his but... nothing, we're going to say that nothing can stop his death from this point onwards yeah but you might be able to have a wee Chit -chat. gloat at him. Lovely. What about, what about the force? You might be able the to force <clears throat> works in strange ways. Magical, magical ways. It brings it round uh, to Droid 2's turn. Droid 2 again tries to find... Um, he just runs from these fucking What's droids. his fucking face? <laughs> these fucking droids. The droid uh, swing again swings its thing around, attempting to find um, Wayne. He uh, <laughs> fails to do so once again, um, but gains two advantages, meaning that the, the effort Wayne took to soft, to like avoid uh, being found mm. actually suffers him too strain. He's get, getting a bit tired of having to jump over and avoid all the things. Uh, the droid appears as you, uh, Luna from the sky you can see. The droid appears to get tired of having to look for Wayne and, and turns its head to look for more targets. Over on the side, um, we have Tokrin. Tokrin, what are you going to do? Oh, well, let's try it again. Yep. Motherfucker. One more time. <clears throat> Tokrin looks really fucking mad at this fucking Magna Guard. Mm-hmm. And he is going to attempt to fuck up his day. Attack droid for. He's going to aim. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's looking good. I mean, does a critical, what? does a triumph and a despair just cancel each other out? They do, yeah. I've got one threat, two successes, a triumph, and a despair. <laughs> okay, so outright damage, what do you do to him? Uh, I do 8 plus 3, 11. 8 plus 3, so you do 11 damage, ignoring all of his soak. Yeah. Awesome. And then you also do a critical hit, which I want you to roll for me. Yep. Uh, but you also suffer a, a critical um, failure, meaning that, can you please mark that your lightsaber has again now gone down oh, to no. moderate in damage? And I got a 45 for my crit. A 45 uh, plus 2 for the person that you're attacking again makes it 65, is that correct? Yep. The target is disorientated until the end of the encounter, slightly dazed, meaning that they will have a black dice against every attack from now on. It's now Droid 3's attack. Uh, Droid 3 again attempts to attack Kip. Can you please describe how Tokken fucked him up? Because he doesn't get to do it very often. Oh, yes. This is a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to make it good. Right. Uh, Tokken, like brings his, uh, his, his, his lightsaber up against the top left of the target, of the, of the droid. That, um, which is blocked by the by a flurry of the by an attack by the droid. He brings it down to the bottom right again, blocked by the droid. And then Tokrin quickly, just afterwards, he jumps over the top of the droid, putting his lightsaber straight down as he does, and cuts through one of the joints in the droid's shoulder. Doesn't disengage the shoulder, but does quite a lot of damage to it. The droid seems to be badly damaged now. Thanks, James. You're very welcome, Carlos. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> 
so Kip gets hit um, by one of the droids. Mm-hmm. The droid suffers uh, one disadvantage, giving him another disadvantage, another black die against his next thing, and deals nine damage to Kip minus his soak. Kip takes another four damage, putting him down to six health points. Ooh, Kip. This brings it round to Wayne's turn. Um, so the droid that's been trying to find Wayne. Um, walks away from Wayne, having tried to find him twice and, and failing. Yep. It uh, is looking for another target when, <laughs> out of nowhere... A when, sneeze comes! A sneeze! When, out of nowhere, uh, an axe flies at it from something invisible. An axe? A knife. A knife. I'm saying axe. I like axes! Oh, axes, dude! Sneeze. Don't you judge me a me. That sneeze I did hurt. So Wayne um, hits with his Vibra Axe and does gets just about enough con- uh, advantages. He only does one success, but he gets enough success, uh, advantages to do a critical hit against the droid. This being droid two. Here we go. It's oh, a crit it's, party. It's first crit. Oh, it's the first of many. Um, so it takes damage, and then we we're going to roll his critical hit, which is 49. 49 being head ringer the target increases the difficulty of all intellect and cunning checks until the yeah that's useless so fair enough fair enough um it brings it round to droid 4's turn droid 4 makes an attack against Tokrin. rude mm, rude you know man you know you just got one of those faces no advantages or disadvantages but he succeeds with two successes Meaning that he'll deal 10 damage to you, including your soap. I would like to parry, please. Please, parry ahead. I would love to parry, otherwise I would be smushy boy. So, yes, Tokrin gets hit uh, as this uh, droid brings its, its uh, weapon around and clobbers him around the head with it. Um, but you're still standing and you manage to, like, kind of, like, bring your weapon your, your lightsaber up so that it deflects the blast instead of hitting you straight in the side of the head it clips you rather than like doing the full damage it should over on the other side of the room Kip brings up his Vibra Axe and brings it down on droid um, 3 he does a critical hit nice funnily enough funnily enough well he does uh, which is called maimed ooh on the tar- one of the target's limbs selected by the GM is permanently lost until the target has a cybernetic replacement. Wow. The target cannot perform actions that would require the use of that limb. All a- other actions gain a black dice. So the dr- he also does quite a bit of damage against the droid. The droid looks badly fucked now. The droid loses its right arm. Um, Can it still... Severing it from it. And its its weapon is held in its other arm, still able to attack with a disadvantage with uh, okay. another black dice. Um, but it looks to be that this... It being one of the Grievous... I think this thing's going to attack without heads, apparently. So, but That it, is so true. It's, that is so it's, true. Um, it's uh, a badly... It looks like this droid is badly damaged. Now, there's sparks spitting out of most of its joints and it, as it tries to ready its next attack. Uh-huh. Brings it back around to Uma. Uma! Cad Bane has dropped out of the sky in front of you. Mm-hmm. As he does so, a silver cylinder rolls towards you. I grab it. This is mine now. Is it not a fucking like grenade or something? No, no. It's I a pick it up. Lightsaber. I activate it. Oh, is it? You uh... activate it. A purple blade emits light. Am I holding it the right way around? Oh, it <laughs> hits you. And it kills you instantly. Fair enough. Highs are low. That brings it round to the point one. No, you, 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 you sort of pick up this, this this silver and gold hilt and mm-hmm. hold it in front of you and then as you do so it ignites and a purple blade sits in front of you it cost one manoeuvre to pick it up cool how so close how close is anyone else uh, you currently have a droid 3 engaged with Kip which is also technically engaged with you cool. you also have droid 1 engaged with you as well I would like this is a mad monogamous relationship you also have another droid so there are two droids in front of you Cool. Droid 1 is one of them. I am going to hit a droid with a lightsaber. Which one? Droid, uh, one droid 1 is currently undamaged. Droid 3 is badly fucked. Oh, badly tucked. Okay, so take out droid 3. Make, make sure you make your first lightsaber attack look awesome. Mm-hmm. Tolkien has not been particularly good at that so far. <clears throat> right, they cancel out. <sighs> oh no. A lightsaber's just unlucky. They might be, because that's that, that, my friend. Did you roll the black for its defense as well? I did not. (laughs) That, my friends, is 
Um, well, they cancel out now. Leave me with that. Um, that is two failures, but three advantages. So I get a critical hit. You get a critical hit. Brilliant. Over, a little overcome by how amazing it is to hold a lightsaber. <laughs> I just kind of like go. No, <laughs> you're like, Whoa, and you're waving it around yourself, and you're missing everything. Mm-hmm. You're like, Tokrin, I'm doing it. And Tokrin looks over and goes, oh, That's my boy. <laughs> that's how we do it. It's like I told him everything he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> um, so you do your critical hit. Please roll for your critical hit. Yeah. That is 69. Nice. Um, plus... Uh, uh, it's a droid 3, so plus 30. Plus 30, so that's 99. So um, you, got the, you got the critical uh, uh, hit. Crippled. One of the target's limbs selected by the GM is crippled until uh, healed or replaced. Increase the difficulty of all checks that require that limb by 1. Oh. D4. Mm. The arms are 1 and 2. Yep. The, limbs, the lower limbs are 3 and 4. Cool. Legs. One. One. He loses his right arm, meaning cool. that all attacks are going to be made increased by in difficulty. Nice. Question: Isn't is his staff not two-handed? The, these droids are strong enough to be able to hold their staff one hand, cool. and then because cool. they have rotational cool. Cool. wrists, they can just spin them. Ah, uh, makes sense. Like Grievous. Exactly like Grievous. So you have. Um, yes, that's the, that's Droid Three. That brings it around to Cad Bane's turn. Cad Bane suffers. One wound, putting him at minus five. He's going to suffer another critical injury. Who wants to roll the critical roll injury it. for Creed? Oh, I'll do one, you do the other. Yeah. He only gets one. Oh, I see. Oh, I fucked my one. Uh, oh. 32. <laughs> no, we don't want him to die. Can this we just good. avoid you from dice, please? <laughs> 32. Plus um, uh, a lot. However many crits he's had. Ooh, can tens. somebody else roll one for me as well? Because when he goes down, he also receives a critical hit. All right, so that's the one he got when he went down. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which was how much? What was it? Was... 30... Uh, 32 plus however many crits he's had. 30, 30, 32, which makes it 52. Hold on before we go. That was Feast and Wound. Makes no difference. So now we're adding 40 to this. Adding 30 to this now. 53. 53. Add, makes it 83, correct? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. He's winded. Again. He can't suffer any strain to activate mm-hmm. any abilities. Mm-hmm. Cool. He's just fucked. He's fucked. He's so but fucked. But he's now on four critical injuries total. My God. He's now at the point where he can he's, die. He's almost as fucked as Tarkin is. Exactly. Well, he's at minus five health. He's more fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So that brings it around to the first droid's attack. And he's going to try and attack Uma again. I'm going to get wrecked. Maybe. If he hits... I have two defense. Um, no, so I don't. I don't have my sword out. Fuck. But he has a black, an extra black dice anyway. So that's okay. That's all right. Uma. He hits you, mm. uh, dealing a total damage of a, a set. So nine damage. I'm gonna parry that, so I take none. Parry and take none. Brilliant. Okay. He does unfortunately also cause a critical hit against you. Ah, uh, that's not good. I also can't parry anymore. What do you I'll, have to roll I'll... against? What? What? So how many crits you got? <laughs> uh, uh, four. Four. This is 53, so you oh, makes it fine. 93, which is at the brink. The target suffers <laughs> one strain each time he performs an action. Oh, oh, I've only got two left. Oh, no. <laughs> so an action. How many diamonds is that? Uh, That's three. Oh, no. Oh, no. If I take another crit, you're adding 50 to it. <laughs> oh, Lord. I have, that, I, my character sheet doesn't have enough space for the crits I've taken. I'm having to draw them on. I know, I'm in that position Luna, too. it's your turn. From the air, you can, you can see that uh, Una, Uma has just been attacked by a completely undamaged droid. Another droid has just been um, missed by an attack by Wayne um, and is also... Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit damaged, but not, not badly damaged. Or has it been missed or was it hit? can't remember. But there's a, there's a droid... So you can also see that there's a droid near Wayne, which has a small amount of damage. And then there's a droid next to uh, Tokrin, which is fairly badly damaged. And a droid next to the kit, which is badly, badly damaged. So, the droid 3, is that the one that I, I was originally closest to that one? Droid 3 is the one you are originally closest to, and it's a, the worst damaged droid. Cool! I How far am I away from that droid? How far are you away from that droid? Mm. It, it, you are at medium range to that droid. Mm, I would like to move... No, so you're short range, because you move closer to fight CAD. Oh yeah! So I would like to shoot droid 3, pretty please. Shoot droid 3, please. Yes, thank you, thank you. I'm going to aim at the droid, and then what am I rolling against? Uh, one, one red. 
Just one red. Mm-hmm. And, and a one one black. 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 That's taking into account all its critical heats. 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 Critical hits don't make a difference, do they? Hits and shit. Boom! Oh, fuck a doodle do. Sorry. Okay, that is two success. Oh, sorry. One success and four advantages. So I crit. Oh, as well sick. As How much damage do you do outright? Nine damage outright. Okay. And then, um, what does your critical hit do? Can you pass me the dice? I got 85. 85? Yeah, plus whatever Chris has already got. Okay. Shit. Fuck. Knocked oh, wow. senseless, the target is staggered for the remainder of the encounter. Meaning that the, the, he can't move or do anything for the end of the encounter. This droid is actually so low on health, he only has three left. That I'm going to say that you fire through the chest panel of this droid, killing it completely. Woo! So droid three is now out for the count. Nice! This brings it round to droid two. Droid two is near Wayne, has just been attacked by Wayne, um, but still unable to see it, uh, decides to go up to Kip and make an attack. He succeeds against Kip, dealing a critical hit. A shite. He also deals 10 damage to him outright, which Kip takes as five because of his soak, leaving Kip on one health. Ooh. He also receives a critical hit. He rolls 82 on the critical hit, giving him winded again. Kip can't suffer strain <laughs> to do anything. Brilliant. Righty-ho. At that point, it comes round to Tokrin. Who has gone to the bathroom? I would like to, uh, I'd like to uh, hit him with my lightsaber. Tokrin, mi Tokrin yeah. missed. <gasps> Not unexpected. Yes, I would like to fuck him up, please. So you're fighting currently against droid four. Low on health is droid four. Uh, cool. Um, I think that is my rule. Uh, I'm gonna get grand. That's my jam. Oh, he's gonna be gone and fucking done it. I mean, he's got another despair, but... Holy shit. Right, okay, I have got... <laughs> what? I've got six successes. Six successes. Nice. Uh, one disadvantage and one despair. Okay. My lightsaber's fucked. He's going to do that again. Oh, shit. My <laughs> it's really got... badly damaged. I've got three despairs in a row. You have, yeah. I see that red dice. There's, a one, one, there's, on. a, there's a one in 12 chance times three... Oh, okay. The chance, the chance of rolling those four despairs in a row is one in twenty thousand seven hundred and thirty-six. <laughs> she just rolled another Connor. one as well. Yeah, that Connor, four yeah. in a row. Connor, Tokrin. Well, Dagos. How much damage do you do against the droid? I do eight plus six, fourteen. How would you like to kill it? Um, without taking that final despair, please. <laughs> that final despair means <clears throat> that if in this attack, um, if you are hit by an attack for the remainder of this encounter, you will take it as a critical, regardless of however any okay. uh, any other criticals. So you're guaranteed one critical if you hit again. Okay, that's fine. You, you can you can fuck my lightsaber if you want. You can fuck it if you want. The lightsaber is not affected by this. Good, one. good. Thank you. And I also have a disadvantage, which means that it's real messy. Yeah. It was real messy and I get oil on my hands and I'm really struggling to hold the lightsaber. He was slipping. This brings it round to Wayne's turn. But before Wayne... <laughs> Jesus the way you said that was so weird. <laughs> like, he's slipping and they gave me some eyes. I don't know what they mean. But they mean something. This brings it round to Wayne's turn. But before Wayne can act, a voice comes over in the room. My friends! Look, I feel bad. Um... Those droids you're fighting are actually mine, and Cat Bane may have used them against you. So, um, I tell you what, we call it even, and, um, and then you hear, uh, and the droids drop to the ground, completely unconscious. Mm. Also, I also feel bad, you, um, you have, uh, the great games, my favor. You know, you have taken Wayne, this uh, would be unfair for me to give you, so, um... 
You have one hondo credit. Congratulations, champions of the great games. Wait, what? One hondo credit? Like, like I mean, I, I presume no one at the the, the the fucking all the comms are jammed. So I mean, like, it's only us. Nobody else knows that this has happened. It's been a huge anticlimax for everyone else watching at home. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> They're the demanding their pay per view return. Also, it ended like randomly ages ago, like hours ago. Um, but you guys have won a favour from Hondo. Oh. Oh, I thought you meant like one credit, want? and what I was like, one like the super 10, destiny what point. What do we want? Yeah, no, you guys have a super destiny point. Basically, you you call Hondo up and ask him a favor. Do I want to commit to this? Yes. No matter what that favor is, so long as it does not harm, is is it's not against his own interests. And he something will... that you can do is like, I want you to take out the emperor for me. So long as he can do he it, and it's not against that. his interests, he He's will do boy. it. Okay. So my friends, you know. We call it even. Much appreciated. That is, uh, and we sure. can uh, we'll, we'll hold on to this to now and, and uh, cash it in later. Yeah. That is how most people do. And uh, yes. how about that uh, drink at some point? That's not the favor though. A drink at some point. Yeah, we talked about it. Earlier. We will. Uh, we'll get on that. And all yes. of this is. I'm ours. busy for the next two weeks, but um, <laughs> after, that, <laughs> after that. Sure. Yes, that. yes. 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 No, please. You are just ending campaigns with getting going for drinks with people. Yep, that's how we start every campaign, and it's how we end every campaign. <laughs> but yes, no, um, yes, uh, I must admit, uh, you are very impressive. So, um, I look forward to your call. Bye bye. And he disappears again. You know what? Wait, did we get his number? <laughs> <laughs> He's actually alright. He's alright, I have his number. Oh, oh well, shit, Nuggle, you're here. Yes, no, I am. I, I don't am expect here. him um, to pick up for you, though. Can someone roll a D100? Ooh, that is a 93. Sorry, I need to adjust this voice then. <laughs> I'm still. I'm still here. Wookie? 
powerful stuff? <laughs> Are you saying the Wookiee is the powerful so stuff no. or the alcohol? Nurgle, you know that that yes. shit is not made for mere mortals. Nurgle, look at the size of the Wookiee. Look at the size <laughs> of you. I'm a, I'm a Wookiee. <laughs> okay. Right, let's... I mean, let's honestly. I do not as much as I just said that Hondo is not a right guy. I think we just need to get the fucking hell out um, of here before like, he changes his mind. I would like to pick up using the force, um, Cad Bane's body to kind of prop him up and. Slap He's, him not awake. He's not dead yet. Yeah, I slap him awake. I like. To, I I'm not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> I like to go speak to the Cad Bane. Yeah. Okay. He's badly injured on the edge of life. I'm very Good. Badly hurt. Capable of very little speech. What would you like to say to him? I'm going to what, get her. What? <laughs> like, what was his... What was your goals here? Were you just trying to kill us? Were you working for somebody else? What the fuck was the point of all of this? So he seemed... Okay, give uh, Okay, give me a highs or lows. For how well he can answer this question. Lows. Can I do something before we do this? Because this will actually affect the kind of answers he gives. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Can I please use force influence? To yes. make him feel like he's got nothing left to lose and he's about to die, so that he mm-hmm. might as well answer. Yeah, what did you roll for your false dice? Another fucking conflict. I will take it. Um, but I was like, I could have done that. So I, I for sympathy. Oh, okay. I didn't really add that. Yeah. Very good. So yeah, I can only make him feel n- negative feelings with this, but I want those feelings to be like fear. Yeah, or like I've got you know I'm I'm dying. So like just the complete loss. To, yes, exactly. Yeah, of any resistance. And I yeah, to, I'm clocking up these conflicts. And, and na- uh, no, Nat, fuck me though. You have so many names. Um, Robin, you uh, got you were correct. It was Lowe's. So he answers your question. He's just sort of like it, it, to prove to be the best, and also of course the money. You're a piece of shit. So I have been told. Do you not remember like 15 years ago when I took over the capital? Well, no. the Senate. Uh, very, very transiently. No. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> um, Interior. Ooh, did you have anything to do with those murdered uh, pirates? I sent the pirates to ambush you, but... Uh, I know not what happened to them. They were killed by somebody very skilled with a lightsaber. Look, I, this is the this is maybe the second time I have wielded one. It was not me, and how would it benefit me? I don't know. I I know nothing about what happened. Very well. Mm-hmm. Nice. I'm gonna say at this point, you guys, being the four, you know, three four sensors in the room, you are like, like li- he is literally clinging onto life by the fact that the three of you are kind of using the force to keep him there. Mm. Um, so once you're done with this conversation, he just sort of dies. Oh, fair. That, that, oh yeah. Um, yeah. I probably just... shouldn't have done that. What I was gonna do anyway, because I was gonna kill him at the end of it. But that's that a conflict. Yeah. Uh, just, you have that's... nothing left to lose, my friend. Is there anything? Have you got anything, anything else, other plans going in this world this that will harm us? Have you got anything to do with the Empire? There was uh, nothing else. You got any money we could have? I do not work for the Empire. That's good to know. But uh, it is good to lose uh, the warriors. Huh? The what? Sorry? Wow. Warriors. What warriors? Please let me die. God damn. <laughs> what? I'm just so I'll okay, okay. Just I'll give him a nod of respect Dude. and Dude. walk away. So Cad Bane slumped up against the wall, slowly loses the last bits of his life force. Mm-hmm. As he does so, his head tilts down and his cap like covers his face. How much money do we have left in the room? <laughs> uh, in the room, you can't eat oh, yeah. let's count up. Okay, you guys got, uh, got about 25,000. Cool. So betwixt you, betwung all of you, can you please note down uh, 25,000? It might be easiest just for someone to take it. Uh, but. Um, 25 divided by 3. Uh, 8,333, uh, 8, well, uh, and then uh, one person gets 8,334. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh-huh, yes. Oh, we're not going to give some to Nurgle no. Banner. I see I was coming with you. 
He is coming with. He's joining the resistance. Oh, we're going to give us. some to Kip and Banner as well. And we would happily take some. And Wayne as well. Do you well. want to join the rebellion? Mm. I tell you what. I tell you what. <laughs> you let us. He must sit in the corner, fucking furious at the time. Well, fine then. Oh, we're not fucking much. Money. I don't know if you've noticed the Wookiee that's only just an ad now trying to walk, but we're not very much organization. You've gone very well. <laughs> we're not ocean madness. We're not organizational people. I'm not saying split it between five Very people. Well, we Look, get, I tell you what, five. I tell you what. Yeah, let us keep each. that ship. Yeah, let us keep that ship and we'll call it even. <laughs> right. Yeah. I do I more get, maths. Get the calculator. Um, hey, you, you, uh, if you don't want to join the rebellion, that's fine. No, but... no, but we, you've got our number. You call us, we'll be there. Exactly. What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you <laughs> asshole. No, I can't get out. Oh, I've <laughs> <done> madness. <laughs> you call me. <laughs> Only not alone in the valley. I'm going to just speak in two words. Call me. Cool. Brick. <laughs> Very well. So we each, if we're giving some to Wayne, um, no, wait, no, wait, wait. I mean, give, give him his he life back, and now he's it. gonna. He's Wayne, Wayne looks and goes. I don't need. I'm coming. I'm coming with you. I'm, I'm coming with you. I don't need any. So what? How we? What? No, no, what no, no. How are we splitting this? We, we, yeah, between we three, we've decided between three. it's between three. Eight thousand three hundred and thirty-three should, for both of you. Should we give some to Woody? Just <laughs> no, for he's, not. he's a droid. I tell you, you what, you can do. You can use money. some to repair Woody. Well, we could. We the ball boy has been damaged. So how much money have we got? But, but anyway, I think I think we should we should scarper. We um I mean I've still got this intel that you know people are killed for. Um, let's get back to the ship now. We'll we'll, fig- we'll figure out the money when we get That's, back. I've taken eight thousand three hundred and thirty-four. Is that the one that gives you the most <laughs> per chance? No, I think <laughs> one extra. <laughs> I think he's done enough fucking math to deserve that extra credit. <laughs> I take that one as my accountancy fee. All right, let's go. <laughs> my, my tax. <laughs> so, you guys easily move your way back through the the base carrying um big pockets i mean there was not a huge amount of stuff left and actually it's fairly easy to like you there's maybe you find like a tarp or something that you wrap around a bunch of stuff put it in it and like woody literally drags it i was thinking him. can can, uh, can we be walking around with with like a three long bindle <laughs> full of gold yeah, <laughs> sure. but you've got like little bits of this like there's there's item big items in there that are, like, maybe you had to leave a little bit of stuff behind but you still get that amount of money but there's just like you've got some of the most expensive items and big big items which you'll you'll find easy to sell. Mm. So you you carry all this sort of stuff back to your ship and lo- and load up your ship. At this point, um, Kip and Banner uh, give you like a, a, a like a wave goodbye and a, and a nice goodbye, and they head up up into this uh, the the shitty ship that you gave them originally. Mm. Um, they load up a couple of supplies that they they steal throughout the place <laughs> as they go, and. Um, uh, get on and start to take off you guys are now at your ship what would you like to do are you, are you leaving immediately i mean there's not really much else to really there's not we should probably head back to well take your dad or whatever back to the daddy the, take your dad exactly. back to the resistance rebellion rebellion, no, rebellion. No, it's a good it's a good name though we should bank that for the future resistance we should sounds, use that at some point like a play. I'd like to give Wayne a tour of the ship as we're going up, being like, so I put this so, on and I've done all this and then I put this me, here. As you guys actually approach the ship, um, since you guys have, since you've taken it over, um, Luna, you've had it for quite a few years by yourself now. And um, obviously since Tochran's been doing some prayers to stuff, one of the things that's changed in this ship is a lick of paint. Mm-hmm. Originally when you owned it with um, uh, Uma, it had sort of, with, with Wayne, it had his colours, sort of a, it was a mostly grey ship with licks of red and mm-hmm. black all over it. Uh, but since you've given it a new lick of paint, it now has your colours, licks of blue, yeah. different shades, and white. Um, and he looks and he goes, you know, it looks better this way. I thought so too. Aww. Okay. So what, now you, you, you guys load up the ship and start to take off. As you take off, you program in the, the coordinates for the rebellion base that you guys operate out of and jump into hyperspace. We're going to do several things here first. Um, Uma, mm-hmm. what do you want to do whilst you're in hyperspace? Um, Uma is going to... Now he's got a lightsaber, he's going to do the thing he's seen Tokrin do, slash Tokrin has told him about. Um, he's going to go and try and like meditate with it kind of thing. Okay. Like he's gonna go to his room. Well, after like probably going and making some food and ch- hanging out for a bit, he's gonna be like, oh, "I'm actually both quite injured, quite tired. I'm gonna go meditate and go to bed." 
Okay, so Uma like sits down at his uh, like kneels in his room mm-hmm. uh, and puts a lightsaber in front of him, attempting to meditate on the weapon and sort of meditate in general. Mm-hmm. And you you think on the events of what's transpired so far. Your mind lingers and dwells on the escape that you had from the huts mm-hmm. and the circumstances of that escape. Yep. You also think of the ambush that you guys narrowly escaped and what had happened there. And in front of you, you see a figure. Mm -hmm. You're in this completely black expanse. And in front of you, a grey and white figure appears. Behind them is another figure, and they stand back to back, both of them wielding lightsabers. And the two of them sort of rotate around each other. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, in the sky, you can see a red and a blue light, almost orbiting you like moons to a planet. And then you come back and you realise that you're still in the room and everything is floating. Mm -hmm. Everything drops back down into place and you start to realise that there is something following you that is causing these events to occur. And it is difficult to tell whether it is a dark force or a light force. You are now starting to develop a power known as Shatterpoint. Only one Jedi in recent history has had that. He was called Mace Windu. Oh, yeah. As you develop this ability, it will allow you to pick out the most integral part of a situation or broader plan and identify it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Cool. That's Tokrin. really cool, by the way. <laughs> What would you like to do in hyperspace? Um, I think to actually, given the way that today's session has gone, I've actually gained more conflict in a session than I ever have before. Yeah. And I think Tokrin would like to dwell on that slightly. So I think <laughs> to brood in a similar way. I think to Tokrin to talk. So Tokrin goes from the the cock pilot seat and goes the what seat? The what? Co- the, the cock, cock pilot. pilot. <laughs> 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 the the cockpit um so he sort of walks past and then like walks off towards his room and passes uma's room on the way and sort of like peers in and sees uma like deep in his sort of meditation thing at the moment sees things floating around the room and so he has a you know a bit of a smile at that and then continues on into his own room mm. and sits down places his lightsaber in front of him and starts to meditate himself so tokrin also meditates um he he feels this sort of surge in the force from Uma as well on the ship, also meditating at a similar time. And and you are also able to sense this sort of dance of light and good. and Sorry, uh, light and dark. And this sort of clash between the two. But it's amongst all of it, something that Uma couldn't feel. You feel a very, very strong emotion intertwined with all of it. An emotion that you personally have not never felt since you were a child which is love and it's actually quite penetrating through all of it you also meditate on your weapon and because you're just so fucking bad at it (laughs) you earn yourself a free rank in lightsaber having Uh meditated on your many many mistakes <laughs> so then this this feeling of love what, what what's this love for just like my my newfound family type no thing, it's or... it, it's not a love that you feel you're not sensing a love that you're experiencing you're, you're you're sensing a love that someone else is experiencing surrounding the situation that uma is meditating on but that person is not currently on that ship on the ship where is dozer <laughs> <laughs> I love it. My baby murder boy's all grown up. <laughs> so an extra, an additional rank in lightsaber turns a green to a yellow. Uh, yeah. So you now roll three yellows. <laughs> Fuck me, Matt. Good. Thank you. Yes. Can, I, can I sit down and do it again? <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, but this time you lose the rank. So, so Luna, for for you, you are sat in the common area of the ship mm-hmm. uh, with. Um, Wayne. Yeah. He he sits and you've you've spoken and caught up a little bit over over time, and then he looks at you and just says, "Look, kid, um, I got something I always wanted to give you, and um, I was, you know, I'm, I'm glad I got you know you got the shit before what happened happened, but um, there's something else I, I'd always wanted to give you." And he uh, 
you, you just hold, hold out your hand. And he gets you to hold no. out your hand. And <laughs> he puts his hand on top of yours. And when he lifts it away, there's a small device that glows gently blue. Uh-huh. Um, he says, put it on. He, it's a, sort of looks like it has a glove fitting that would allow you to put it on your hand. Okay. Um, put it on my yeah. right hand. Yeah. Stretch your hand real tight. Like, like you're, you're like, you're I don't know why I'm also extended. doing it in real life. Like, like it's you're not gonna do anything. Asking someone to come towards you. Okay. And a blade flies off his hip and lands. Oh on my hand. god! It lands handle first, and he says, "It'll do that every time." That's really cool. And then he just looks at you and just goes, "I'm, I'm so proud of you, Luna." And he gives you a massive hug. I give a massive hug back. Whilst well, like <laughs> throwing my dagger in the background. So is it that this her? Does she have a dagger of her own? Or is it just to so now, another recall for a, his dagger? This is a normal vibrant axe. It will do... Sorry, right? Fuck me, axes! Like, <laughs> why can you... Why, why is everything a vibro axe? <laughs> this is a, a normal vibra knife. Um, and so you can add another vibra knife to your um, thing. Only this vibra knife will work this way. Um, but effectively, um, you have now have a vibra knife that will do normal damage. But when thrown, it can be recalled to you as a uh, maneuver mm. that's fucking cool and i would say that um what's your strength because i'm just gonna make this up strength so you mean brawn yeah, yeah. Brawn. three three um we're gonna say that you can throw this knife up to short range cool that's awesome yeah thank you it has uh and i'm gonna say i don't know uh, vibro knives in general have uh yeah, it, so it has a PS2 and a Vicious 1. Although we'll say, because it's a special knife, it has a Vicious 2. Awesome. So you now have a, a Wayne Tech knife. Wayne Tech. I'm going to get a, a, totally to get a dart, not a dart board. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Um, that, that, that's nice. We'll, we'll call it the... Um, he, well, maybe he has the nickname for it, the Whistle. Whistle. Awesome. The Guardians of the Galaxy references are getting thick. <laughs> that copyright, that copyright it's becoming less close. reference and more just you have the thing from Guardians. And then he looks, <laughs> he looks at you and goes, uh, "Anyway, we um, I, I've got this important information that I, I got to give you, and um, I think I think you know maybe I should give it to you now before uh, anything else happens, and maybe we should keep friends in here, and um, as many people that know this, the better for now. I mean, I trust all of you. How, how did you find this out? How did you? Um, what did you do? Let's say uh, I came across the wrong people, and I killed them, and then I, I came, you know, I regret it, because uh, I came across this information I thought I could sell, but it, it it turns out the Empire wanted a lot more than I thought they did. Okay. And then, um, I'm pretty sure they still have it, but uh, they definitely wanted to keep it quiet. Mm. So, at this, at this sort of point, say, we'll say at this point, like, you guys have been on the ship for a couple of hours. Um in hyperspace and you guys have had time to do meditations and at this point maybe you're all sort of you know coming into the maybe maybe luna uh you know goes on the intercom and lets you guys know that you should be coming in uh, or, or should come to the comm area or maybe you just happen to be coming in yourselves but now you're all in the comm area mm-hmm. I'll, and um, i'll go make some popcorn <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah. how long do you want to popcorn for i would um <laughs> three minutes that sounds pretty good okay sure pop 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 Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Ding. Oh, wait, no, I remember this. We made a joke about this in episode one. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, open him up and reach into the microwave. Um, Get and some toasty warm pop. Take out some toasty warm pop. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Bit of a presentation I got for you. <laughs> um, so he, he reaches down into his butt crack and pulls out a USB stick. No, he doesn't. Oh, thank God. <laughs> no, he, um, he reaches, he like... He reaches down into his boot and pulls out a small, like, really, really thin piece of, of tech. Like, almost like a motherboard-looking sort of thing. Yeah. Um, have you guys got, a, like, a holopad? Nah. Then that's really <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> no yeah. Wait, no. one of these. So, like, like a, like a calm link or something. Holo- oh, we've got to have yeah. them. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to give it to Woody. 
Yeah. Woody can put in Woody. <laughs> no, so he takes the comlink and he actually like twists the comlink and disables it and removes some of its wiring and wires back in this com- this uh, motherboard into it. It seems that to protect it, he didn't want an obvious piece of tech on him, so he just literally stole um, or he hid this piece of mm. like motherboard. Um, so yeah, this, this is just literally just the memory drive that's got the information on it. Um, and he puts it on the desk in front of you guys. You all sit around this circular table in the center of the room. And he activates it. And he says, so, so basically, the information that I got was, um, the Empire seems to be particularly interested in the Sith. And um, it looks that they've been looking for hidden unknown relics of theirs. What I found here is that on this planet, unfortunately, it doesn't, I don't have a huge amount of information about it. All I know is its, um, its general location. Uh, but it's a planet with um, with a with a constant light side and a constant dark side, and on the dark side of the planet is a Sith temple, and it looks like the uh, the Empire, uh, um, they're sending a fleet to try and reclaim it. Tokrin, you recognize this planet. You spent near enough fifteen years living on its dark side. Well. <clears throat> I guess we're going to Ryloth. 